From various computers in various parts of Los Angeles, California, I'm very proud to say that Harmontown is now in session. Hello, everybody. It's me, your comptroller, Jeff B. Davis. Uh, I'm sitting uh, in a virtual double down saloon in Las Vegas, Nevada, because if I could uh, go somewhere and not catch COVID, I would certainly go there to catch all manner of uh, social disease. Uh, I'm very happy to be here with you all. Thank you so much, everyone who bought tickets. The uh, the the outpouring of support for this has been very magical. And uh, am I getting a little teared up? A little bit. Um, you know what? If I really want to go full misty eyed and nostalgic, just romantic uh, daydreams and, and uh, sunshine, rainbows and lollipops, I think there's only one thing to do. And let's bring out your game master. You know him. You adore him. Uh, you want to nestle inside him like like a like a like one of those Russian dolls. Uh, let's bring out your game master, Mr. Spencer Crittenden. Oh <laughs> shit! Nestle in me, bitch. <laughs> What's up, baby? How's it going? Not much. Let's let's keep it rolling though. No one wants to see me. Yes, no, we fucking do. Yes, we do, Spencer. I, I uh. Oh, shit. Yes, you got. I you, you have the, the required amount of paper towels back in back there in case uh, if, if shit really fucking goes wild tonight. You are ready on on <laughs> on cleanup patrol. I'm on cleanup duty. Yeah, you, you're going to clean up duty. Speaking of cleaning up duty, Spencer, in, in the picture uh, behind me, the men's room here at the drawing room, uh, the, the, rather the double down in uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada, the happiest place on earth, the, the bar, not 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 the city. Uh, the toilet paper is on a very heavy chain and it's the toilet paper is so gross. You'd rather just not use it. Um, what should we do? Should we just sit? I, I, just, why why, why you got to lock the, the toilet show. paper up? Yeah, uh, I, know, I need we, it for things. What we didn't tell people, Spencer, is that this actually isn't the Harmon Tanner reunion. It's basically a launch of our new podcast. I'm this kidding, is of course. Gross. We should get Dan out of here. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> let's, let's 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 welcome out the mayor of Harmontown. Uh, his his name is most of the title of the show, and he is the mostest <laughs> of the showstest. Let's bring out the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! No. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Batman. Uh, we were we were. I, somehow you got invited into our Zoom green room. Uh, we're, we're, we're looking for Dan Harmon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I am the knight, both with an N and a K. It works both ways. I am the knight in both ways. I just found this in my closet here. Like, uh, oh, shit. It's me. It was me the whole time. <laughs> Why did you have that? Where'd you get that? Uh, I, my new assistant, Clara, uh, when she did this closet and she was asking me, what's your dream closet? I was like, I would want to, I want to be like Bruce Wayne when I, you know, when I go into my closet in the morning, like I want to feel like, like I'm getting ready, to, uh, you know, to, uh, do important things and stuff. And so, you know, she did a bunch of cool stuff to the closet, but, um, then to kind of as a flourish she put a bat cowl up on, on one of the shelves <laughs> and that's, that's the first assistant. that's the first time it's been used <laughs> so you're, you're sitting in one of your several walk-in closets and that's, that's probably a good idea you get nice audio in there probably yeah the, the 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 clothes blocks the um stuff i can i can heat myself up a little bit if you want and that could be uh, good lighting wise Oh, I thought you meant like entertain. I thought you meant like entertainment wise. Like you're gonna you're gonna heat it up. I can heat. I can heat it up too that way. I, I will in a second. Um, I just there's light. There's lights in this closet that uh, they shoot straight down. So when they're on, everything becomes very shadowy. So I hope this is appropriate. You look great. I like the fact okay. that you sit. You're sitting in a closet full of clothes, and that you, you've 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 gone with this Van Gulli T-shirt. You just kept it simple, even yeah. though all of the options are available to you. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's uh, tragically, it's one of the few shirts that fits me comfortably now. Uh -oh. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's the same with my dress shirts and my suits. I've I've bought suits and, and shirts over the years, 
at very varying uh, stages of, of beer belly. So I, I've gone back to like, like, like early to like 2000s. So I'm breaking out some old, some old, uh, some old classics. None of my pants fit. Basically, I just have like a rotation of athletic shorts now, and like nothing else <laughs> that I have is bottom wear fits. It's it's a real issue. Uh, it's it's no good. How how has your pandemic been, Spencer? Other than that, you know what's been sad about the pandemic is how little I've been affected by it. It's like, well, this was what my life was like, and actually, that is profoundly sad. That's kind of like sadder than like it being like, oh, I can't go to the gym like I used to. It's like, no, this is this is about normal. Have the same basic amount of contact with people, you know. And it's like, man, my life is just disgusting and empty and if it ever comes back i should you know turn away from that pathetic lifestyle and try and live lead a filling life going forward yeah that hit me for the first half of it where i was like oh i'm flourishing that's really bad and then i so then i kind of ironically stopped doing a lot of the stuff that i was doing pre-pandemic that would be totally pandemic compatible like working out on instagram and stuff like that like it, everything mm-hmm. just fell away because i kind of i think i think yeah, I just kind of went into a low energy mode or something, but I've been feeling, I've been feeling a comeback. I think I just go in cycles and stuff. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Well, this is the show folks. I mean, (laughs) it's what it always was. It's just people uh, hanging out. It's not really, there's nothing, nothing good about it. Do you have any big rants built up from years off or are you getting those out in like the writer's room or. Yeah. What's, 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 what's got your hackles up over the, over the last, what's in the news, Dan, that that's got that you've, you, you've got bones to pick. Or... I, I, uh, I don't really, you know, I don't really have anything. I'm, I'm really sorry to tell you that, but that's good news for our guests because then we, we don't have to, they don't have to wait through some kind of like supposed monologue that I had one thought about like, uh, you know, uh, I don't even think this is going to track, but I, 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 you know, I, I keep joking with Cody, like, what, what are you going to do? Leave me, you know, like during the pandemic, like it's, it's kind of like, and then I, I but it's a very real thing that I keep thinking, like, you know, you got to get out in front of the pandemic ending because there's going to be, <laughs> there's going to be like the, I picture the street will be filled with pandemic suitors, like it'll be kind of almost a reverse Ulysses thing where there's just going to be all these horny guys like flooding the streets uh, and, and kind of like call, they're going to know that they're they're They can call out to like a city full of mistreated women. Um, they're going to, they're, 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 they're extroverts themselves and they've been like, you know, languishing indoors and not being able to go to bars and hit on people and stuff. And all of those people are going to like run into the streets like, uh, like milk and honey. And then, so it's like, I think now is the time if you've been kind of taking your lover for granted, you should probably start pretending the pandemic's over in terms of how many times a week you shower and stuff like that. (laughs) Yeah, I, I, I've, I've, I've let myself go. I, I put a suit on when I do one of these shows, but I'm generally, I've been wearing the same pair of jeans, I think since March. And I put a suit on very, very seldomly, uh, usually just for things like this. And it's the first time since I was like a little boy that I actually blew one of the knees out in my jeans. I have ripped jeans now. Apparently I've, I've gone to a Scott Bayo status uh, during the pandemic and I, and uh, it's, it's, it's not good. I, I, I th- th- there's two, uh, liquor stores in town <laughs> that I, I don't even think they're happy to see me anymore. I think they feel bad for me. I walk in and I keep getting more for net Bronca and they're like, yeah, it's okay. You know, they, 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 they're like, Oh, a great customer. They're like, you need to fucking go to the gym and, and maybe, you know, see somebody. <laughs> I don't, I don't go see anywhere. Somebody. I have another, I, I, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, there's a, there's lots of people out there that are just kind of splitting the difference, I guess. They're they're going places and doing stuff. So, you know, I, I I think I think I was exposed to it very early on because Laura, my ex girlfriend and uh, and very good friend, still uh, we were in Italy together, and we thought that she got really sick, and we thought that she had West Nile fever, not West Nile virus, but West Nile fever. And now looking back on it, because it was I think December or January in uh, January in Italy 
which became an instant hotspot for, for COVID, that her symptoms were absolutely COVID symptoms. And then I was with her the whole time. So I think I was exposed to it and was asymptomatic and didn't ever, you know, didn't really ever have it. So I'm fucking mm. bulletproof. I'm the real yeah. Batman here. Of course, Jeff's fucking immune to the coronavirus. <laughs> fucking course. Yeah. I, I've, been, I've been out banging elderly people at old folks homes since <laughs> I thought about April. I'm still confused about the rules, though. Like, for my understanding of it, even pre-vaccine, is, well, don't get it. Don't risk getting it. Like, like when people are like, well, if I get it, I'll just, uh, I don't care. I should have a right to. No, it's not about you. It's about you being an antenna for this thing that's going to kill an old woman you don't know. And, uh, but my big question is, uh, what, 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 what's with the, uh, with the vaccine? Like if you get the vaccine, I still, I still don't understand if I get vaccinated tomorrow, can I still give, can I still carry the, yeah the, the virus and then give it to other people who are still going to yeah. get sick because that, that, that's, that's pretty much identical to not getting a vaccine as far as the vaccine. It, it supposedly just kind of prevent, prevents a worse version of the illness. So you could still get st- sick. You could still be taken out for like months, but you probably won't end up at the hospital and, and have death. I don't even know how clear it is on like whether you're suffer long-term effects like lung damage or whatever. I, you might still even mm-hmm. get that, but yeah, it's definitely not, ideal but it's supposed to help prevent death which is the be- best you know the biggest thing but you can still hey guys get it. Can i'm still really get sorry it. i know i should be butting in right now but uh i think spencer is wrong about the vaccine but i'll come in later and talk about it because i've read a lot about this okay i'd love think, to be wrong i think we should bring yeah Dr. i have Dr. a couple of things to say <laughs> about that too so uh, but when you guys are ready when you guys are ready Keep, keep okay, going. we're just going to finish this segment. We're just okay, going to finish good, this good. segment. You, you guys are doing great. We love you I, guys. I can wait. I just wanted you to know I can wait. Big, okay. fa- big fan, big fan. Yeah, I mean, we've got... I, we, I, I, I've done what I wanted to say on the show, so I'm out. Later, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Now we lost. He's like a bird on a wire, that fucking guy. Oh, no. <laughs> Instant I, I, I production think... value, and then boom, he's gone. Um, uh, why don't we bring out some of our guests? Well, I, I think we should start uh, just in, uh, in good old fashioned uh, fashion. Uh, let's bring out. Uh, how, how do you introduce Rob Schraub? By just, I think you just say Rob Schraub is here. Everybody, buckle up your holy shit belts. Oh shit! Oh damn! What's uh, Rob, you were, you were going to weigh in on the you were going to weigh in on the science of trans uh, transmission after having the vaccination. Yes, it's uh, it's. Uh... Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just I, never uh, uh, leaving again. I, I I I can't wait for people to try to tell me, hey, we really need you to come into work. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, I, I've got a year's worth of data to suggest. <laughs> You're bluffing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't. You don't need me to come into work. They announced I, I, like this week that like the snow days are a thing of the past for schools. You know, like so, like the day, the days of kids waking up in the morning and going, mm, and the snow is coming down. That they'll go, yeah, it's snowing outside. Can't go outside, but we'll see you at the at the same time. Uh, guess guess we'll guess we get to do forty more minutes of math, snowboy. So I, I I grew up in L.A. We had smog days. We never had snow days, obviously. And there were there were days where the smog was so bad that you were, weren't allowed to leave the classroom because you might I, I don't know like get uh, mesothelioma. I don't know what the fuck it was. It was a lot of no, dragons. No, a lot of dragons. Should we should we bring out our should we bring out our extra guests or should we just make the if audience? We're, if we're done with me, sure. Yeah, if you've tapped everything you can get out of me <laughs> in that short amount of time, is that okay? Well, no. yeah, go bring on. The star. I can't believe I can't believe the Rob Schraub uh, level of restraints that you you issued, Rob. You for, throughout the first minutes of the show, you always had the power to turn on your mic or your video and be doing bits in the background. Dude, I, you was, just, I was sitting on my hands. I had a couple openings, and I was like, "Nope, not gonna I, do I, it." Did Did you see my last my last uh, note in the chat room here? I, I said, "Like Rob, I think you should start doing some some bits in the background." I but then. That. No, but then you jumped the gun and you you already started doing. Or oh, Kamel beat you to the fucking punch because Kamel uh, is you know he's he's he strikes like a cobra. He's good. He's good. Yeah, he's a good yeah. guy. And so he yeah. yeah. Jeff never said that in the chat. That's a lie. 
I only had one bit prepped and I just did it and everybody just fucking gaslit what was it. The bit? What was the bit? I didn't see it. This is the bit. Are you telling me this isn't funny? I got Hold on, hold on. I got to pin it. I got to pin it. Hold on. Let me pin it. I got a drawer full of uh, indiscriminately stored Emmys here. Like, I'm treating Emmys like they're. uh, That's that's good. That's great. That's great. That's great. Your Zoom Zoom window is much too small. It it, it looks like, like like a lot of like second grade trophies from like. Like, like, you know, Little League and stuff like that. No, I it was tell. funny. Come on. It was good. Everybody. Well, maybe damn. I'm not flourishing during the pandemic. <laughs> maybe I the need to get back out in the streets for my comedy to work. I think that it's amazing that your beard has grown almost perfectly to reach the edge of your, your, eye, your, <laughs> eye, your earbuds. <laughs> it's perfectly framing your, you uh, your take, beard. It'd be great if you could take it off and go, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if, my, if my beard gets any longer, yeah, the, the, if my, the earbuds will have to like, they'll like take the thing up. When I, when I put my shirt on in the morning, it's kind of fun. Cause I, I I'll look, I go like, Oh, I got a smaller beard. And then that's what Spencer then, looks like right now. I'm used to yeah. Spencer having that long of a beard and it looks like he's tucked it in his yeah. uh, blue screen uh jumpsuit i shaved my whole ass beard i was clean shaven and i gotta tell you i didn't you like shaved your ass beard so setting how yeah, long was beard. it the whole thing the it was whole longer than my back hair beard yeah my whole ass beard all right our next I, I, guest <laughs> see i told you shrab would take over fuck off you know, everybody. I want. I want you to take over. I was doing a terrible job. I. I. I really queefed it with that Batman mask. I. I don't. I want to say I don't care, but I do. Um. You really and, queefed it with the Batman mask. <laughs> is queef, 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 queef should be stricken from the parlance, right? That's yeah, like, you queefed a, the bed on the Batman <laughs> mask. You really queefed it. You queefed the you queefed the pod. You queefed man. the Zoom, baby. You really queefed in church on that one, man. Yeah. Whereas you should have been shredding the gnar, you queefed to the bed. You know, guys, our next guests would be uh, uh, podcast gets, even if they weren't the George and Martha Washington of our podcast. Um, they, they've got reunion value and regular guest value because they're prolific. They're hot stuff. They're. God damn it. Fucking people are paying for this. <laughs> Let's bring them out. I, I'll pull the trigger on this. We're very happy to have them. And when we, we decided, uh, well, I guess I decided, and I, I, I asked the group, would you guys want to do this reunion? Because I think people would enjoy it. There was no question about who the first people I would ask to have guests on the show. And here they are. Um, I love them. And I'm sh- certain that you do too. Emily V. Gordon and Kumail Nanjiani, everybody. Hello. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How exciting. What's up, Emily? What's up, Kumail? Look at all these beautiful faces. <laughs> Are you guys Emily, in a different- Emily, you look like you just emerged from a very successful like 80s like uh, uh, rock video. You look fantastic. That's you, correct. You got- that is correct. I, I was on a motorcycle. I was shaking around. I did some stuff on a hood. Um, I think it's going to turn out well. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. No, your, your, hair, your hair is tremendous. You got this gauzy lighting. It's very, it's working. The yeah, gauzy get- lighting is because your camera lens is dirty. Probably. Watch this. Let's see how, <laughs> how ungauzy it'll get. It's dream lighting. What are you? Are you cleaning it with your hair? That was her shirt. No, they're animal print uh, top. Yeah. Uh, it's not dream anymore. Dream lighting. Are you, are you guys in the same time zone as us and each other? <laughs> Yeah, we she's right over. We're gonna the... break on Harmontown. Uh, we <laughs> we want to we want to announce our divorce on the show. I was gonna it's say like... that we, you know, we were like uh, uh, there's like boxes <laughs> in the background of Camille's shot. And it's just like it's, it's, it's like the word dishes and it's written sarcastically. Like you, you yeah, can just yeah, tell like right. you're dumb it's dishes. Sad yeah, you're dumb dishes. dishes. <laughs> And, 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 we, and we just occasionally get glimpses in, in, in Emily's background of a very hot yoga instructor guy with no shirt on with like a man bun. <laughs> he's, like, he's, 
Yeah. He keeps, bring, he keeps bringing her out like mango lassies and teas and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. And I just have faces drawn on my walls that are my new friends. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to say uh, sorry to butt in on the vaccine thing. No, uh, I want to know. You know I, I feel like there has been uh, it's been communicated so badly, so poorly. So the vaccines are really, 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 really good. People should take them. They haven't like finished the studies yet, but the science says that when you have the vaccine, you likely will not uh, spread it. And um, uh, there was a thing came out today, an Israeli study that that ninety percent uh, it reduces transmission by ninety percent, and uh, they're going to peer review it. But the scientists are pretty confident that once you get this vaccine, you can't spread the virus either. They neutralize it. It's not just that you don't have the effects. Uh, you don't, it's not just that you don't get the symptoms of it. You, it kills the virus. And when this is 95% effective, that means the other 5% that get it have very mild cases and nobody ended up in the hospital out of like tens of thousands of people. When this is a serious case, that was somebody who had like a fever for a week. So these vaccines are amazing. So I just, I feel Everything like- Everything he's we, saying is true, but also now you see why we had to get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> He, just, he won't yes. stop talking about yes. his vaccine. Yes, yes. yes. All, all we said, Kamal, was pass the butter. And then, then you go off. And <laughs> anyway, these, these vaccines are really good, guys. We, we, we got to get course, I'm, I'm, sp I'm specifically talking about Nanjianamax, the, the third, the <laughs> oh, third yeah, no, vaccine. No, no. It's my uh, it's uh, my GoFundMe. Uh, go, go to <laughs> yeah, 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 nanjianamax.tv.biz. We'll come to you. We you will know, come I, to you. <laughs> Got the formula. I just need the infrastructure to produce millions of doses. I've got five. I took two bagel, got three. Emily didn't deserve it. Uh, well, that's good news. And it is interesting how, I mean, like, obviously, I, I sometimes I think it's kind of a fortunate thing that the disease dropped during the administration of the fake news guy. And that the problematic portion of our little melting pot, like the kinds of people that even before, like way back in the way back, we used to laugh at them because they were anti-vax. Um, like, it's kind of nice that they were put in a position uh, <laughs> where they had to be like, what disease and then the, because now the vaccine rolling out, which is going to inevitably be, you know, it's not going to work right for everybody. It's there's going to be like big time, like, 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 you know, it's a, it's a, it's a life-saving vaccine that now has to be rolled out in a time of crisis. And like, it could have been a real political, like, uh, like catastrophe if it weren't for the fact that it kind of got pre-lapped in, the, I don't know. Sometimes I think it's nice how the, how that stuff works. Well, something like 50% of people eligible to get the vaccine are refusing it. So it's not like this miracle rollout or everyone's buying into it, right? No, I know. I know. I, I guess I guess I yeah, I'm not discounting that fact. I didn't mean to imply that because of the timing of all this, all those people are going to be smart now or that they're going to take their vaccine. <laughs> I just think I don't know. I'm not even sure quite what I'm saying. I was hoping maybe you guys would take it and turn it into a smarter thought. I um, do man, think they should have they should I, have hired a PR firm to like do some sort of a, like an information campaign about it, which they didn't even. I feel like do. there's been not enough. Yeah, I do. I feel optimistic that as more people get it and we don't have side effects and transmission goes down and people see it's effective that vaccine hesitancy will end. But Emily's right. They, there should have been more work. Like, hey. These vaccines are really, really good. Instead of when you get the vaccine, you're still going to have to wear a mask. We've really queefed the bat when it comes to like <laughs> the PR on this rollout. And the last place you want to queef is the bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I where mean, is the first place? Like yeah, where do you want to queef? Well, in, in the Renaissance, they had those special like bird beak shaped things mm -hmm. for the ladies that were That's like, right. they, were, they were filled with lilac and other herbs that were supposedly filtering the... That's good. I was going to say hot tub. I think you want to squeeze in a hot tub. Yeah, it's, it's the perfect crime. There's no victims. It's a victimless crime, honestly. You're just and, helping the hot tub do what it does. Yes, it, you, you're, you're basically like uh, you're 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 giving a fist bump to the Jets. You're like, you keep keep it going. I like I like your style. I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I, I have another thought. I was thinking today. Uh, 
you know, like 20 years from now, even though 20 years from now, there probably won't be movies and TV as we understand it. There'll be holograms and Pokemons and whatever, but whatever the movies and TV of tomorrow, whatever popular culture is, and there'll be people telling stories and there'll be archetypes in those stories, like an archetype 20 years from now in certain stories will be the canceled actor from the, from the early 21st century. Like, like there'll be like, there'll be like these characters in like, uh, movies where like like there'll be like an older character and then they'll be like a kind of like fallen from grace mentor and the person will be like what who are you what happened to you and then the like the call to adventure at threshold will be somebody going like that's that's olivia johnson she got canceled um <laughs> back, back in the cancellation days and like like it won't like it, it, it'll be like being you know it's like it won't the point won't be that she shouldn't have been or should have been but the point will be that she she didn't get to be who she was or whatever. And that's why she's such a great acting teacher. Like whatever the Roger rabbit reboot will be. It's like, instead of the dip, it'll be like the cancel, um, barrel. <laughs> the cancel. Barrel. I mean, yeah. right. and they'll but put that shoe the, in. Yeah. That you shoe dip the top, so sad. You dip the squeaky shoes in the cancel barrel. And then, Oh fuck. That well, prediction I disagree sque- with, but. Uh, I can live with that. What are you fuck? sipping Soy on? Sauce? What the what you fuck? <laughs> is, that, is, that, is, that, is that Sriracha? What the fuck you yeah. got there, baby? Are you drinking a baby? <laughs> that like close to the camera or is it huge? <laughs> no, no. It's my water bottle. Oh, it's giving yeah, me gentle day- encouragement. It's giving me gentle encouragement. I don't know if you can see it. It's reverse on mine, but it says... Only at remember your goal. That You got a lot keep, of work to do. Keep... Ch- I know, I'm way behind, but that's because I'm fucking around with you guys. Yes, and, and, and the, the, very bo- the very bottom level says urinary tract infection. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can uh, drink I too much water. No, that's not true. It is. My yeah, grandmother was hospitalized for drinking too much water. I didn't yeah, even understand. Died for, she was trying to win a switch for her kids, and instead she died. Or a Wii, a Nintendo Wii. Oh, Wii, that's it. That, that works, that? because when you drink a lot of water, you Wii, right? Hello. Okay. Not me, man. I hold it in. Yeah, quarantine's been tough. <laughs> no, what, what you don't see on the bottom of the Shrab's giant uh, tub of water is there's a catheter that pumps his urine right back into it, and it's just a cyclical flow. No, that's not true. Keep chugging. <laughs> Keep ch- chugging. Follow your goal. Feeling awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get feeling awesome. You too. guys yes. are going to be so jealous when I finish this. <laughs> when I finish this water, when I what get down happen? to these mountains, you guys are going to be so jealous. Keep talking. <laughs> I'm going to finish it before the end of this podcast. Place your bets. Oh my God! I would love for that to happen. Okay, wow. but Rob, you, Rob, you're you're not allowed. Just to get up for and you, leave. man. Shrab, you're. It, I'll take that bet, but you are not allowed to get up and leave your chair at any time. You have to That's stay correct. in the seat. Oh shit! Agreed. I'm 51, man. This is gonna be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys open open question for the table? Who identifies as an introvert versus an extrovert? Like, and and have you noticed? Like, uh, surely you've reconciled that with the pandemic. Have you ever? Have you gone like, I, I am languishing here because I get my batteries charged by other people and it sucks. Versus, you know, and I, I, I like Spencer and I were talking about. I speaking for us two introverts. I think like it's not. Do you like, talk to Spencer a lot, like like. No, I've yeah, seen we've him been calling. We're, we've been on the phone. We're both every introverts. Day. We haven't spoken a couple hours each day. It's it, it, important it, it, to us to touch base. You know, when did you talk to him? him? <laughs> the only reason we've see, we're seeing each other now is because the one extrovert here uh, decided we needed to do a reunion show because he, <laughs> he's like a he's like a fern planted on a in a desert. This is fucking guy. <laughs> hey, hey, literally your best friend. Okay, so, but but just, I'm curious because I don't know if Emily Emily and Kumail like I wouldn't know between the two of you like if one if either of you are you know like it wouldn't shock me if you went. Emily's on the right. Emily, what do you say? Maybe for one of you, I'm I'm definitely more of an introvert in that I like doing social stuff, but it makes me very tired. And so similarly to Spencer, my life, and I do most of my work at home. So my life did not change a lot when this started. 
the only thing that changed was me being like, I guess I should like schedule a lunch with some friends because I think of everything like the stems and I'm like regular contact. That's how you keep your friends. Um, so you did. So, so, and, and so you, you, did you get, did you kind of forced yourself to do that? Like, like, like before, had like play dates yeah. and stuff. And I knew. Oh, like, you like, did, oh, that's something you did before. Not before. during. The yeah. Okay. No, we and haven't so seen now, anybody. Yeah. We don't see anybody, but yeah, before I, I, I would have to like force myself. And I would still enjoy it. Like, I, but like, it would be like a, it wasn't a thing that my heart was like, I'm yearning for a lunch with a friend. Um, yeah. But I would always like it when I did it. I think it I'm never, more interested. I, I never realized how much of the part of me that would go out was doing it for fear of ostracization. Some kind of indirect, right. like just thinking like, I don't want to be the person that everyone stops inviting to things. I don't want to, it, 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 and it's not a case no of whether fun. or not that's good or bad or healthy or unhealthy, but it's just amazing to take all of that out of the spreadsheet and how much it was like, it didn't make me instantly happy. Um, uh, I don't wake up every day happier than I was yeah, a little, probably like five, 10% happier. <laughs> it's like fucking pandemic <laughs> rules, but um, just as a baseline, but um but but just like the amount of like just like weight off the shoulders like it's kind of amazing to me it was like and, and i think that's a healthy thing because I, I don't think my extroverted friends would if i had ever told them that that was going on in my head the first thing they would have said is don't do that to us or yourself don't be thinking that stuff like uh like like we don't want you making calculations about whether you should come join us at a, a bar and like you're thinking about whether if, if you do your life will this or that like god damn we do it because we're extroverts and we have fun and now like if the pandemic has an end to it um like i can now think clearly i think yeah. about like m a little more clearly about who i am and what i want um and not burden other people with my bullshit about like what what i'm trying to accomplish with them can i can i disagree with you on one thing there as, all as i said friend. was my feelings no 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 you you that your you, that your friends probably are like no don't oh. do it for us i'm not like that i'm like whatever math you have to do to like come out and hang out with me i'm happy with that same with shrub you know like i would see shrub at parties and then he would want to leave early and i would guilt him into trying to stay because i i wanted to hang out with you guys because so that's I'm how you roll that... Kamel, yeah. Captain I'll, Party. Yeah, I'll grab some guilt <laughs> so right, Kamel, Kamel, are you are you an extrovert? Kamel, Kamel? Yeah, if I had to guess, if, if I had to like wager on this, I would say that you would have tilted slightly toward introversion because that's most of my comedy friends tend, like, like especially stand-up friends of mine, there's a, there's a little bit of an introverted part of you, but are, are you kind of both sides of that coin? Where, where do you fall with it? I would say, you know, uh, if you define introvert by where you get energy from, I get energy from being alone or with Emily at home, like watching movies and stuff and, and, and hanging out at home. But as Emily said, I do turn into Captain Party. So there are some times when, I'm, when I used to be out where I would be like, really like, oh, Emily was like, oh no, Captain Party's out. And then I know I'm gonna be like <laughs> guilting okay. people into staying longer and that <laughs> kind of stuff. So. So it was really, it was sort of extremes, right, Emily? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. But you, I've at least taken like, I'll take an outdoor walk with a friend every once in a while. You don't see anyone. I see nobody. You got, no, I you, am, yeah. I, I'm fully terrified of this thing. And I, I, I have not seen anybody. Uh, well, see, really. That's the thing. I'm, I'm really scared too. But I think like, Dan, I make those calculations too. But I think that they're like, I do it because I know it's beneficial to me. Like, I'm not thinking like, Oh, I should see friends because I don't want them to like think I'm not around. I do it because I'm like, I know I'm going to feel better if I like hang out with someone I like. I know I'm going to. And this is in the before times and now I know I'm going to feel better if I like have a social interaction with someone. But I'll be damned if I'm like really tired and don't really feel like doing it. But I, I don't do the calculation that like it doesn't feel sciencey to me or like manipulative. It just feels like, oh, I know I'm going to like this, but I'm not going right. to like it up until I get there. Yeah, I mean, we have the luxury of following our bliss, and it autumn, and it actually intersects with like th doing the right thing during a pandemic. I I, I want to take this time to put some medals on some chests of some people that that uh, are are not in that category. My fiance, could, you know, she's she is a you know 
on the on that on that whatever enneagram uh, test or whatever where you get your all your letters and stuff. She's a campaigner. I don't know if she's you know she's she's she she recharges with me. We hang out in bed. We do all these things. But she definitely she 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 gets she gets her energy charged by other people. And she and uh, and her friend Anna Kendrick, who uh, uh, like both of them, same boat where they're like. They're not. They they probably don't even know who they are when they're not like hanging out with 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 people, and they regularly get tested because they have a regular hangout, and then they and then sometimes like one of them like their test doesn't come back because there's a windstorm or something and whatever, and they like they're so committed to it, that's actual sacrifice. They're like following their bliss and going like, well, we gotta we should hang out. And but I, I'll as soon as I'm put up to like, you know as soon as there's any test of my will, I'll probably falter. I like had my friends over for election night and like I stopped giving a fuck. If I was like I I, I I was wearing a mask when they came to the door and I had put bowls of chips six feet apart and then it's like by the end of the night we're just hanging out and, and like because I'm following my bliss really and it's easy to follow during a pandemic and there are people out there who are like this fucking sucks but I'm really going to do the right thing for other people and I'm there I, I, I really I'm really impressed by them yeah so wait, is, I, kind of, is, is following okay. your bliss being introverted and being okay with it or is following your bliss being like fuck fuck the pandemic put those chips together <laughs> Uh, for, well, for, no, I'm just, well, following my bliss is like, like, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm like lazy. I'm like, I, I'm, I, 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 I like, yeah. I, I, I can, following my bliss will be like, ex I was excited to set up for election night. I was like, Dino and Jeff are going to come over and I'm going to, I'm going to, it's, it's like a designing a spaceship. I'm going to put the chips over here and I'm going to, everybody will be able to not touch each other and the cups will be disposable and all these things. But that's because was that's there only fun for like, me. like there was only like, you only had like two other chairs. Oh, shit. <laughs> like oh, when you invited well, Dino. Dan's new and house is Jeff. pretty small. I don't know how many people he could fit. Dan's yeah. place is, 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 is cozy. I would call it cozy. <laughs> yeah. Cozy. Yeah. I've been there. It's uh Shrab, like, you would uh, never, Shrab, you would never have left the house had you been asked. Yeah. You probably were asked. Yeah, it's probably true. See, I feel like some of my <laughs> friends who are intro, who are introverts that feel guilted into being social because they feel like that's a thing that you have to do to to not be ostracized or or forgotten. eliminated, forgotten, forgotten, forgotten. That forgotten. You, forgotten that they've forgotten. used uh, <laughs> forgotten. If, if somebody uh, got forgotten, that they've they've used their their introversion and their their love to, uh, their love of staying at home as though they really really are like safety freaks they don't like it's like no 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 it's too dangerous to go outside like, and, and, and they're kind of wearing that like a feather in their hat like they're, they're, they're doing the right things like no you're loving it you don't ever have to do shit yeah that's what I, yeah. I, I i i try yeah i try to police myself internally of like i try to like go are you doing anything difficult and that's why i like like when i early on when i would see people on twitter like questioning the quarantine and all that stuff like like my initial reaction would be like you fucking dick like how dare you that's the problem with this blah 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 but um you know, and I, I like I have to remind myself, like, Jesus Christ, like, f like, like, imagine this sucking for people. Like, when have you ever done anything right. Carmen, that hasn't been f a fucking blast for you? Uh, if uh, animation producer, now it's a pandemic. And so now you can abuse labor while you, while you do woodwork in your garage with a fucking Tony Stark camera system. Like, I, I, I it's fun. Like, it's not. I'm not, it's, it, it, that doesn't mean that I'm not doing what I do for other people, but I always like have to check myself and go like, if there's, if there's a person out there, that's like, I mean, they're, they're, it's like, I, I, my mind is blown by like how, how many people must be just absolutely fucked in the yeah. ear. And, and it, and if they're getting on Twitter and going like, 
you know, in the, in the, in the, in a flurry of like people like shaming someone for not wearing a mask when they're jogging or whatever the, whatever's happening on Twitter, because people are engaging in their thing. And like, you see some of these, then these voices come up and the people that they're, you, you know, there's this agenda to it where they're like, oh, it's 99% survival. And, and you, 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 if you parse it through just them wanting one thing or another to be true, that you could get really mad at them, but then I think about like, oh, what if the, what if they're just not socialized to say this sucks for me? Like, which the ironic thing is, like, if they would just say that, and you see that all the time in social media when people get broken down into using their I statements on accident, they finally at the end of a big fight they start being personal and they say what their deal is. Oh, I'm an electrician Bye. and I was in Vietnam and I got one leg and I got a thing. And it's like, why didn't you just say that in the beginning? Yeah. And the answer is, well, because I was told that was weak. Uh, well, yeah. they, they sometimes don't connect them. They're like, yeah. well, yeah, my dad died three weeks ago, but that doesn't have anything to do with this. And you're like, oh, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Does it not? <laughs> well, this is what's really impressive about Emily. You know, so I've like fully turtled up. I, I am terrified. Like every night still I have dreams where I'm like, I can't find my mask. Although now, every now and wow. then, there's, there's nightmares of, like, when am I going to get the vaccine? So, hey, things are looking up. But, you know, when we would go on a walk, I am very guilty of, like, judging people. And I'm not saying this is a good thing who don't wear masks. So I'm that guy. But Emily will always, like, be like, well, you don't know what their day is. You don't know what's going on with them. So Emily's like this. <sighs> she, Her empathy it Feel, she has like weaponized empathy. And <laughs> She's doing it on purpose, that bitch. <laughs> it kind of feels like I'm like, I wish you weren't so empathetic because then she's like, I, I just want to be angry at that person. Let me, <laughs> let me have this. Have you uh, confronted anyone? I was going to get the Postmates and Cody was like, you never wear your mask when you're going to get the Postmates. And I'm like, oh, yeah, shit. Uh, and I, I like I, I was I like grabbed a mask to go out to get the postmates and I I put the I thought I like, didn't have a chance to put it on because like the postmates was already pulling up. <laughs> and I did this thing that I thought was amazing where uh the guy got out of the car with the food and as he was approaching me, I waved my mask at him like it was a backstage <laughs> pass. <laughs> it's okay. And you took can, the like, food. Block it. I, 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 I wasn't like tr blocking it like pong. I was more like, I'm I'm cool. Like, like I get it. Like it was like like I I I mean it was it was an unconscious move, but it definitely wasn't an unconscious like attempt to block the virus particles. It was an unconscious like don't worry about it. I'm I, I, I'm, I'm a mask guy. Like, I, I'm a... <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> Don't worry. I own a mask. I know. Um, I'm friends with Ace Freely's manager. Let me take this food and maybe <laughs> cough on you a little bit. Yeah. No, I, I, Spencer, I have not yelled at anybody, but I have gotten close. And you can because you have a mask, but my mask actually has the lower half of my face printed on it. So <laughs> I, I think... <laughs> But Kumail, this is interesting to me that you're, are you, so are are you, are you immunocompromised in a, in no, a Emily is. I am, and that is oh. where all this is coming from. So oh. it's all like, it's okay. all, we're realizing, I don't know, this is Go really it. feels like Harmontown. It does. We're realizing, you know, obviously for a year now, Emily and I have really spent all our time together, and I feel very, very lucky that. I'm with someone like Emily and honestly, our relationship has gotten stronger. And for the first time I've gotten some sort of insight. I, people know, um, you know, 12 years ago, Emily had gotten really, really sick. She was in a coma, all this stuff. So she still has that condition, 14 right? 14 years this year, but that's okay. 14 years. And we're realizing <laughs> that both of us have some sort of um, PTSD from it. Like, I don't want to like, you know, people who've been in wars and stuff. I, I, I don't want to, but there certainly is trauma associated with it. And we're realizing in this that this virus is triggering certain things for me uh, that make me, it, it's kind of a bad thing. It sounds like I'm like ultra protective of Emily to the point where it's not healthy for either of us. Um, and, uh, and so this <laughs> pandemic has really like awoken 
awoken a lot of stuff and and I've realized we've realized that uh you know the the work that needs to be done um yeah that's that's it yeah I mean that's that's Cody is the kumail in the in this relationship because I'm I'm immunocompromised I I I I I I don't have the I I knew early on I knew that that word was going to be like the new autistic or whatever where it's like you're not it's like people people self-applying it we're gonna be i don't know i was like i I better not tell anybody but like i i'm in a category of person that if i get this thing like i could be one of those people that that you know that that eats it and I I'm one of not, the dyers. As Trump one said. of the dyers. One of the. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like trying to move around his moving around. Um, I could be one of the dyers. Like that's interesting. Like, like what, if he if that was a quote from him, like I just realized like why he said that because it was like he the narcissism wants to get around things that are bigger than it. Like you have to like, you have to be anything but absorbed by something. So he's like, I could be one of the, (laughs) and I was like, I could uh, be one of the people in the category that uh, shall we say terminates. Um, But uh, (laughs) it's, it's, it's the truth. I mean, my, per my doctor, it's like, I, I can't get this thing. And uh, I don't have the same 99% whatever uh, chance. And I told that to Cody early on and she's been, I mean, that's just, you know, she's just living in this world. She just put that in her head and is just living like that. And the funny (coughs) thing is like, it's the same, I think similar to you and Emily, because I now look at my behavior and I'm like, you don't give a shit if you get this thing. You're just hanging out. But now I'm remembering, like, I was like researching b- b- bleaches and things. I was like, do it. I was, I was genuinely terrified. C- Cody, Cody's like trying to keep me alive, and then I sidled into this, like, you know what? Like, what is life yeah. really? <laughs> yeah, you're you're waving masks at postmate people. It, exactly. Like, do I, you I feel get like... the vaccine? Do you do Emily and Dan? Do you get the vaccine bef- earlier because of your condition? Yeah, yeah, Emily I'm, does. I'm in the Emily next is, year. Yeah, she's in the next one. I assume oh, you okay. would be too, Dan. Right? Yeah, I, I'm. Uh, Cody keeps telling me like, you, know, <laughs> you, you can do this or that, and I keep going, going like, I don't want the vaccine. <laughs> I just why don't you I'm, want I well because I keep thinking like I'm I'm not going anywhere anyway the bar's not open down the street <sighs> fucking Kumail left he's so disgusted with my behavior I'm sorry, I just turned the, the light off. um the, that's much the, better I truly it's so selfish like I just realized like I should be getting the vaccine for <laughs> fucking Cody so she can yeah. relax yeah well so, yeah. so Dan Dan you uh you're not getting the vaccine because if you got the vaccine, people would have to say, Dan, you have to come into work. Uh, well, not really. House. It was more, it's more because not I really. honestly, a little part of me is like, I don't want to go stand in line with a bunch of people that probably have COVID. Um, I, another part of it is like, I, I didn't, I mean, I'm glad Kumail was a guest tonight and could fill us in on the fucking, like actually just across the board vaccine is but like i was looking at the vaccine as being this confusing thing that was like i thought it was for baby boomers to like keep them from literally dying and that was basically it it was like a like a plug at the end of the herd immunity no it's for everybody i don't know i mean you're under a certain age like under like for teenagers and kids i don't know i don't know for like for people who are pregnant or or anything like that but but this is these vaccines are above and beyond what we had hoped for. We had hoped for 70% efficacy. These are 95% like, and 95% doesn't mean that 5% of people get it. What it means is you want, this is, oh. Go ahead, I'm Tony, gonna go ahead. This is good. Divorce me again. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just say that, okay, so 95% efficacy doesn't mean that 5% people are open. What happens is if people are just like, they're part of the study, so half people get the vaccine, half people don't. The people who don't get the vaccine, 20% of them get COVID. So then that's the baseline. So 95% means it's not 95% of 100, it's 95% of 20%. So the number of people who get it isn't 5%. It's much smaller than that. It's Mm -hmm. like 1%. I think Emily and and Kumail, I mean, I I don't want to be like, 
like a dick, but uh, I'm just saying, if one of you does get it, we got a sequel to Big Sick. We got Big Sick too, and that's going to be fucking. You guys are think, easy yeah, stuff. Really, I think that's what Kumail is worried hey, about. Jeff, I think that's the word. <laughs> Jeff, uh, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but go fuck yourself. <laughs> Well, hopefully, yeah, that's, we'll, that's hopefully what, we'll win that Oscar if I get another coma. My, All I gotta do is get another that's coma. That's my nightmare now. That's great. I'll add that. To that. I, 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 I've given Kumail a new nightmare. Now, for me, if Emily does I, go into another to... coma, Kumail, you could play Best Fiends. That's Friends Without an R. Best Fiends. It's a new game. Uh, sorry, I just. Uh, I hear they have but, thousands of levels. I've yes. been addicted ever they're since. They're always I adding more. I'm telling you, Trisha in marketing has been playing it, and she loves taking care of her little worm baby. I've I don't been know if I'm going to make it, Jeff. And it's easy enough for them to understand. <laughs> they're loving is, it more than I am. Is this is Rob? You only, not, okay. Rob, you, you, you may not leave the seats until that I'm jug feel is finished. It, I'm, feeling, finish the I'm jug. feeling it coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, I'm going to start. Really when I start doing the. <laughs> okay <laughs> next topic Rob. uh so i finally started i used warby parker because there's a pandemic and i i needed new uh glasses so i got my i need a far prescription and a close prescription so Same. a pair of glasses came and i put them on and i everything in the distance was blurry and then i and everything up close was clear so i labeled them uh uh well, it says close. close. I, I labeled yeah. them close. And, and then I realized, what are you doing? Because I don't know. Like, are you no, that, label I, 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 I don't have um, the words on it, but I label mine because, y y because you can't see them. So then, a, so then, and you know, Warby Parker, like they don't, they don't come all at the same time if you need multiples. And then they, the next ones came and I put them on and everything was blurry. And then I put my hand in front of my face and it was, clear and i i had already lost these somewhere and i was like wait a minute the other ones are the far ones uh <laughs> that's crazy that i labeled them close and uh oh my god i gotta find those and blah 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 and then i finally found them and i put them on they're the same prescription warby parker sent the same prescription for both things warby I, parker so i said to my oh, assistant shit. i said clara they sent the same they sent two closes uh, and she she texted me back and said they they admitted their mistake. They looked at the records. They said uh, that uh, yeah, sorry, we sent you the same ones, but their records uh, show them as sending you two uh, of the far ones. <laughs> I just thought it was really funny. Sorry, this is what you get, pandemic Harmon Town. I, well, did, I, can, can I, like can, they can, were can almost make... gonna. They're like, oh, sorry, we fucked up. We sent you two of the far ones. No, you sent me none of the far ones. Warby Parker, you bastards. This well, the way they... Harmon Town brought to you by Warby Parker. <laughs> Thanks, Warby Parker. <laughs> well, that's what it reminded me of. I did the best. I I wrote best fiends down. That was a bit. I was like, people will like that. That'll go. And then that oh, yeah. reminded me of Warby Parker. And you guys, you guys know I love cereal, but I'm getting up in the years and I can't handle that sweet stuff. That's why I love Magic Spoon. You know, they only have two net carbs and no grams of sugar, but it tastes just like the cereal I knew and loved growing up in childhood. They yeah. now have six flavors. They have fruity, blueberry, cocoa, frosted, <laughs> And now they have these new flavors, cinnamon and peanut butter. I like the peanut butter. You know, they actually ran out of peanut butter, and, and but now it's back in print. They print cereal now. Use my <laughs> promo way, code. 3D that printed happens. with nutrient nutrient paste. And so that is Wait, my favorite flavor of Magic Spoon. This is, peanut butter this is, is so great. <laughs> is this a real sponsorship real? or are you doing They a, have fruity and blueberry? <laughs> Yeah, yeah now, they right. have right. fruity C and blueberry. So, C so they Kamel, went. I, 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 Kamel, I think Spencer's trying to do a backdoor sponsorship here by being so good at doing a unsolicited ad that he's going to get free there, magic spoon. We we love magic spoon, by the way, and we're very aware that they ran out of peanut butter. It was a crisis in this house. Yeah, uh, the, I, but the, I haven't the tried it. But the is peanut that, butter is the Ma most exciting Ma to me. Ma Magic Spoon's uh, early uh, funding was all uh, built on Nazi gold, so you got to take <laughs> you got to take the good with the bad on that one. I great, don't great flavors. That. Magic Spoon's listening. Not Nazi gold. I don't know. Have you guys seen the Instagram ads for the place? Because I, I we all know the blue aprons and the whatnots. Like they deliver the meals, and the meals are kind of like they're ready to go. And 
but they're ingredients and then you put them together <laughs> but 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 now it like evolved into this new thing that's like uh i'm so tired of and, and, and it's like it's like a program where it's always on my instagram it's being advertised and it's just like these young people are like I can't believe no one ever thought of this before. And like, it's literally just frozen dinners, like coming to their house. Like, and they, and it's cause they're like, oh, who has time to cook with blue apron? Like, like it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like George Jetson, like hitting the button and being like, oh, I can't believe I have to hit this button. Like, it's like, I can't believe I have to, what, what if blue apron came already prepared and it was just frozen and you could put it in your freezer and they, they're advertising all of the merits of like, imagine if they were already and you could just put them in your freezer and then you pull them out when you also, need them. Also, what if it, also, what if it wasn't even frozen and it tasted exactly like Chipotle? <laughs> <laughs> I always want to comment, but I'm like, I don't want to, I'm 48 years old. I don't want to be some asshole that's like, well, you mean, in other words, TV dinner? <laughs> Like, because I know well, if you say it like that, they're gonna. <laughs> I mean, you can't. You gotta be nice. I've been coming up in on their ads face. more than ever before, and in, in the pandemic, I'm just like coming up with witty retorts and and fun little jokes in the Facebook comments of ads. It's great. I will say, as a guy who, as you know, is like guerrilla tweeting with a with a anonymous uh, Twitter account that has a hundred followers, like the thing that first of all like the joy that i never even remembered of like two likes three followers like i'm like oh my god no wonder this world is fucked like if you have a hundred followers on twitter and you're nobody like you're fucking obsessed like you get sucked in the the biggest hugest burst of hearts that i got on twitter was me saying some dumbass snarky thing in response to a fucking ad it's a great and how way many likes to, was that? It, I, it was like 50 or something. And I went, my wow. mind exploded. Like I, viral. I, well, it was more like my brand's taken off. I could be somebody <laughs> one day. Like, yeah, you could be canceled by QAnon because you're a pedophile. Like what it's like, I, it's funny to like, I'm yeah. prestiging with Twitter. Like I'm playing like level zero and I'm funny. like, yeah. I'm like, I don't want the rocket launcher. I want like, I want to experience like actual Twitter where I'm, I can just like call a hillbilly a hillbilly and I have no fucking worry about it. I'm just like, shut think. up, you dumb fuck. Um, hey Dan, and that, uh, Dan, why don't you I think, tell us Dan, all Dan, the, Dan, the name of that handle? Can you tell us all? Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, TMZ. <laughs> I think Rob is struggling. I think Rob needs to hit the head. No, Rob, no, you're good, no. baby. You can make it. You can make, you it. make it. How much time do we have? You use about an you hour. gotta follow your goals. You got what you gotta follow. About an hour? There. Well, <laughs> if we're going two to hours, eat? then yeah, we don't have to keep going. I mean, I don't know how long it's supposed to be. Also, but, uh, you have like a virtual background. You could just take us into the bathroom, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's not you virtual. This you're is the, a practical. You're the practical. guy who has the story about how you how peeing in your pants liberated you. You <laughs> just pee. True. Just pee it used right to be there. a liberation, now it's just Every day. Yeah. Now, now it's like <laughs> now. It's, yeah. How far? So, the, the, the how f the the eyesight thing is so fucked, man. Like it's the I, worst. I, it really I, is I, the worst. I hate like, it. Okay, I gotta read a tape measure. Uh, okay, now I can read the tape measure. Oh, but I can't. I don't know where yeah. I'm going. I might. And the then, word. but oh, I gotta. Ooh, the, uh. And then you and lose. Then you lose a pair. But I try. I tried those and that's like, it seems it, crazy to have to read like this and then look at things like this. It's, I tried it and I, yeah, I don't dig it. Dan, it. Did, you go a, to an opto- a, did you go to an optometrist? Do you have like a new prescription? Yeah. yeah. I did go. That's the one that's the, I left the house for that. That's since election night. That was my one like uh, thing. Emily's it's got a, one coming up and it's, it's, it's been a, <laughs> It's, it's been, been a controversial. My eyes are fucked, though. I can tell they're bad. Like, I'm just like, oh, constant headache. Probably need to get those eyes checked. Yeah. Um, we've really, yeah. we've, 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 I've, she's made an appointment and I've been a tyrant and made her reschedule it. And then now it's happening next week. And I just remembered that. And uh, Big Sick 2 is going to be a big hit. I'm sorry. No, what I'm is joking. the implication there, love? Don't go. Don't go to the optometrist. 
You guys know R- R- Randall Park, right? The yeah. yeah. See, awesome. you, 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 you know he has a, and I'm not. I don't. I don't want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave out details so that he doesn't end up. His personal life doesn't end up getting affected by this. But I think it's like you, his. He has a twin brother that works at a optometry place. Are you sure they're twins? Are you sure? Are he you said sure they twins? were twins? Yeah. Okay. Because, you think right, he just had the second job? Is that what you mean, Rob? <laughs> because the because the joke was that like he he was like uh, he he was working at this place and then he was like and I was like, God damn, this dude looks and sounds like Randall Park. And oh, you just uh, randomly saw him. Yeah. That's who you were. Oh my god. And then he was like, Are you Dan Harmon? And I was like wait a minute what the fuck is going on <laughs> and, and, and it, it was like i think you know my, my brother and, and it was like wait a minute he's like it's my twin brother and i blurted out i was like i thought i was racist and he was like you're not racist <laughs> i go to the same optometrist and he tells me that story every time i go in <laughs> About how Dan Harmon was so relieved he wasn't racist. I thought that was, but the, to me, that's like a funny thing that you couldn't even write that. Because we were like, I remember it as us like leaping up and down, like so, like <laughs> as if one of us won the lottery. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and him and, and, me, and me going, like, I thought I was racist. And he's like, you're not racist. And it was like funny. That's going to went- be strange now that he's on WandaVision and like everybody in the world is watching it and they're just like, are you researching for a role? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob, uh, what were you saying? No, nah, I was going to say something stupid, but it has to do with uh, eyesight. I was, uh, when I went there the last time, Dan, did you do this? Not the last time, but like a couple times ago, they put these drops in your eyes and I was like, what's that for? Well, that'll make your, you not blink. For a, uh, like an hour, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so for an hour, you're like, yeah, yeah, okay, all right, and I go it's- home like that. Do you want tacos? Well, because they take sure. some kind of thing and they're like pushing it up against your eye, right? Because they want to like, yeah, yeah, They've yeah. Been tacos. It, 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 it makes you not want to blink or not be able to blink. Not be able to blink. So your you eyes are like blink. this, and you're like, hey, not true, Rob. You this is amazing. With that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of tired. I think I'll go to bed. <laughs> this is crazy this to me that we reading have these this book is making balls, me sleepy. We have these balls of gelatin in our skulls, and they're melting uh, uh, from from birth until death. And like because they're melting, they're they're becoming less than perfectly spherical. And we go to these people, and they like go, uh, all right. What is that? Does that look better than that? Does that look better than that? And now I noticed, like, uh, now the human element is all just follow up. It's like we're entering the concierge phase, as uh, that that anthropology guy that wrote those uh, books would say. Like, pretty soon, I don't know if they're going to need a human being there because they they're kind of like the computer is zeroing in on what my prescription should be. I don't even know how the fuck that's possible, but, I, but that's what's happening. And because the guy that was there, like running through the lenses was like, and I'll just make sure now it was like, he's working. He's, it's like Turner. He's and Hooch, working for the you know? computer. Like he's, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's partners with a computer. Like, and it's making, <laughs> it's making his job more fun. They're solving cases, but it, 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 it yeah. <laughs> I, I, but the weirdest thing about it is that then he said to me like, uh, well, Good news, yeah, your prescription could use a little tweaking. Um, yes, your vision is deteriorating. It's deteriorating the oh, amount that it's supposed to in this amount of time. And given your age and all these other statistics, like it'll plateau at a certain point. But, like they just them knowing it's like it's like your eyes are like ice cubes, like like at a at, or like ice sculptures at a party, and they're just sort of like, yeah, the tips of the wings on the swan are like they should be pretty much flippers by now, but you know, <laughs> the wedding reception's already started. It's like, no one cares. Like, like you, 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 your, your eyes are just melting in your head. It depreciates as soon as you drive it off the lot. The yeah. blue book value is- <laughs> there is no, you can sell yeah. this to anybody for sure. No, no, not, not, no. Not, not in turn a profit. No, I, not, I, not I thought in, I was not in this economy. <laughs> not I went to one of those laser eye places where you go in there and they're like, they fix your, they, 
just to see because my eyes are getting it's, it's fucked up you know like but it used to be that i can't see what's in front of me but i can see really good be uh, far away but uh, now i can't see far away or what's in, without my glasses so i went to this doctor and it's like oh what they do is they slice the top of your eyelid uh, your eye not your eyelid your eye open and then they kind of clean that with a q-tip and then they melt it back on or whatever but people have said oh it's great you should do it I go in there and the guy's like, "Yeah, your eyes are, are like it's the the you, you yeah. we could do like one far away, and then the other oh, would be God. for close up. So you would be like doing this all the time." And I was like, "That doesn't seem like a real uh, a good use of my time." And I got wait, the fuck out wait, of there. So you'd have like a book reading eye, and then yeah, I'd be like, like right now, I'd eye? be like, "Hey guys, what's up?" <laughs> Actually, I like this for you. I think this is hey, a good one. hey, it's working. It makes you Tucci esque. Uh, You've got a hey. slight Tucci esque feel about you now. Yes, hey. I, I loved you on Searching for Italy. Uh, yeah, exactly. The CNN show. You're fantastic. <laughs> I, uh, I used to. I used to. Not isn't understand. that why? Uh, why the, the 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 iconic pirate eye patch thing was not because they had lost an eye in battle, but because if you keep one eye in darkness and you use that eye when you're above deck, but if you have to go below deck for any reason where it's dark. You use that eye and you have perfect vision with that eye. Jeff, you know the most interesting useless shit. Always. That's the it's same called, thing with like it's called, they cut it's, off it's called like Mythbusters come out. It's it's called Mythbusters. <laughs> they, they 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 give one leg a peg and then <laughs> yeah. so, and then the other one is like normal. So when they have to run <laughs> well, it's because it, it, it turns out like if you're making people walk the plank and you have a peg leg, it's a lot easier to get them to walk the plank because they're like because you poke you just poke just them with poke the peg. Them. Just poke them. With also, the peg. if yeah, and that's the reason why they only have one parrot. They, they only wear one parrot on one shoulder, and that's yeah. the other shoulder uh, never needs crackers. I, I, was, I, I mean, I, I forget what the actual reason was, but I, with, with pirates, there was always a reason. <laughs> always a reason. Everything was efficient, very efficient. The, the, yeah, the, uh, a, a pirates actually always had a parrot on each shoulder. Um, <laughs> the, their, their skeletons, when we dig them up, uh, it appears as though they only had one because they, you know, people, people die on their side. People die um, on their side. The, the upper parrot <laughs> is exposed to oxidation. Yeah. Now, now, Dan, that that theory has been debunked. The reason why okay, all right, more sorry. Was, oh the, shit, the Shrub! Shrub tried to trick <laughs> us with a Stanley Tucci. Oh, no. <laughs> he's he's reasoning uh, about Tucci. <laughs> He's all the this trick, in the, trick in the book. <laughs> <laughs> He's he's, he's taking a two GP, everybody. Only two P. He yeah. forgot to turn the he, green screen off. Like, yes, so yes. He, it looks he, like he Stanley Tucci's a, being overtaken by the fucking Death Stranding. Yes. Well, he, his his new That's nickname. Right. He, he went from cheap, he went from cheapy pee pee to two GP. pee pee. Two G pee pee. Two G pee pee. <laughs> hashtag everybody hashtag two G pee pee tonight. Uh, it's going to be trending. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! I, 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 wow! I, I do love his. I do love his CNN travel show because I don't love all travel shows. But I, I, I'm so envious of anybody that gets to go travel and eat good food. And Stanley Tucci is very charming. I, I kind of enjoy him walking around and eating a pizza. And you go, oh, I, I would like to have that pizza with Stanley Tucci. Wow! Hi, Rob. Like how you doing, gone. man? Wow. Hey, man! You've How's been your there cocktail? the whole time. <laughs> Where's your Negroni? You, you, yeah. <laughs> I drank it all. Uh, I drank all my <laughs> Oh boy, I'm I sorry. I was about eyes. Can I? Did you know that your eyes don't grow? The size when you're born, your eyes are the size that they are for the rest of your life. What the fuck? Yep, that's why babies' eyes. Wow, baby They're got big, color. big, big, beautiful eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, I, I have an announcement to make. To make uh, it's it's only six eleven here in Los Angeles, but in, on the East Coast, it's nine eleven. I'm distracted the by a, into the buildings. <laughs> I'm distracted by a bit. I, not, I'm not. I'm bailing on the bit. It's disrespectful to the audience. I got distracted because I was like, oh man, if I 
if I put an image of Randy Quaid like uh, up and then I like, <laughs> yeah, I, I can do a callback where I like slip out and put up a Randy Quaid. I'm not going to do it because it that was taking fun. me away from the shape of show. Um, yeah, something I, I, we I don't pride think ourselves I, on here. I didn't get a single bit of love for, for uh, Laura. I, I, I commissioned this after Kumail and Emily had talked about him being Captain Party. I was doing this for a long time. I got nothing. I gave you Nothing a thumbs up. I could, didn't know what else. I thought okay, it said cool. Gapton party. <laughs> and what okay. did you can think we try my, Can we try my bit what again, maybe? If we're all like petitioning each uh, other for fucking uh, bit. Well, like, what are, what's in there? What, what is, uh, what is just, in there? I don't know. I can't get it closed. I got to get a new drawer. It's fucking... <laughs> oh, no. You got to throw some of really that out. Clanking those together. Clank, clank, clank. <laughs> went the trolley, ding, 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 went the bell. Is, who the fuck is Hugh Jackman? What the fuck? <laughs> He's just throwing them in there. Wow. Uh, what, 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 what's everybody watching? Whoa. This, I'll say it. We got really into... Uh, do you know musicals, Jeff? I feel like you would know them. We've got really into Gene I, Kelly. We've never seen Sing in I, the Rain, and it's like life-changingly good. Okay, Kamel, let me pause you there for a moment. Uh, I've seen Singing in the Rain a thousand times. I watched it two nights ago because TCM had it on again. Um, it's so good. I, it's so good. Right before, right before you asked that, I just referenced Judy Garland from Meet Me in St. Louis. And I don't think anybody, maybe Emily knew what that was? Clang, clang, clang with the trolley? Yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah, uh, do I know musicals? Yes. I, uh, I, I'm gay, but I make, I'm straight, <laughs> but I make no case for it. <laughs> So what should we watch? Uh, we've seen so far. What are the best ones? We've seen Brooklyn. Okay, well, you we've you, start, singing you started off with. Okay, what else? Uh, the the on the town. I was gonna be like, what's the one where they're out on the town? <laughs> that I remember. On the town is my is is not my favorite one of, of that kind. Anchors away. Have you seen that one? No, no, that's one that has Jerry in it, right? The little cartoon mouse. Uh, yeah, because Gene Kelly dances with Jerry the Mouse, and that's that's uh, Gene and <laughs> Frank, and uh, I'm blanking on the other characters. That one's a good. Um, oh, it is, also, it uh, is happening, guys. Have you seen happening. Have you seen Cabaret? No. no. We really want to see Cabaret. <laughs> start with Cab <laughs> Start with Cabaret. It is absolutely a freak out. There's Nazis. There's lesbians. There's menage a trois. Um, I about a year and a half ago, took acid by myself. By the way, a lot of musicals have Nazis in them for some reason. But go, Sorry. For Only some reason. <laughs> Springtime for Hitler and Germany. You took, you took, uh, so you I, took I acid? I took a small dose of acid on my own because somebody had given me some acid. And I've only ever done acid in small quantities. I've never gone like on a huge trip. I... I won't say I recommend it because I don't want to push, you know, drug use on the children. As I know a lot of our viewers are, are, are youngins. Um, however, if you have the opportunity, do a little acid and watch Cabaret. It's a fucking freak out. Uh, it, I, I had to hit pause after the opening number. I'm like, um, this movie lives inside my brain for the rest of my life. It's very, <laughs> very good. I want, that. We, I want that. we tried watching one last night that Rob uh, mentioned a lot called All That Jazz, and it's a movie written oh, yeah. and directed by Bob Fosse about the life of Bob Fosse, and the whole movie is about women trying to fuck him, and his Constantly. biggest problem yeah. is all women want to do is fuck him. Uh, <laughs> and he wrote when he's and directed a kid, it. when he's an adult, doesn't matter, right. women want to yeah. fuck him. I was going to recommend that as an anti-musical, and that's a real goodie, and, and Roy Scheider is tremendous in it, and it's there's more drug use in that than uh, most yeah. movies have. And also, if you want to go also on a, on a weird anti-musical trip, uh, Pennies from Heaven with uh, Steve Martin, Bernadette Peters, and Christopher Walken does a tap routine strip tease that is worth watching. Uh, what is it's, an it's, it's anti-musical? It's like, it's not supposed to be, musicals are supposed to be uplifting and upbeat and, you know, everybody wins. I see. These are depressing where everybody is, you know, like basically we're all decaying, all dying. Pennies I'm from Heaven, the, heaven takes place. Huh? I'm going to save that for post-vaccine. The Fosse yeah. Vernon uh, miniseries with Sam Rockwell is really good. I mean, like if if you were into like all that jazz or 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 like cabaret or anything like that, he shows like the making of it, and they're really, really. It's really great. It's really yeah. cool. In, in, in Anchors Away, there is a scene that I've watched a million times. Uh, Gene Kelly dances 
with a, a peasant Mexican girl in Olvera Street, and he thinks that he's lost his girl to Frank Sinatra. He doesn't know that it's not the case. He thinks he's losing the girl to his friend, and he's like, you know what? Good for him. And he's heartbroken, and he sees a little peasant girl, played not by a Mexican girl. It's actually a little white girl in dark makeup. But uh, they do a dance where he says, you know what? I can't have her, so I'll, da I'll dance with this child. That song makes me cry. That number makes me cry every time. It's just good. Okay. That's next, then. Yeah. That's what and also, we've all anything with you, Fr Fr Fred and Ginger musicals are always good. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, yeah, get up on those. Get up on those. We, we, time, hi hat. We we watched uh, Viva Las Vegas. I don't know if that's a musical, but that was a ton of fun. I don't know that. Elvis. Elvis and, oh, and oh, Margaret. Viva Las Vegas. That movie's fucking weird. Yeah, that movie ends is. with a car crash where at least four people are murdered, and then Viva! They, they, they just start singing, and it's like no, there's. The race the ended with, with absolute a bloodbath. Oh, there is and, the car racer. And, yeah. and, and Aunt Margaret is in, in short shorts and pantyhose, and Elvis, I think, is too. It's pretty hot. Uh, I, I, uh, gotta, like, I, gotta, I gotta correct you there. She's not wearing short shorts. She's just wearing pantyhose as fucking pants. <laughs> That's right. It's black <laughs> opaque number. Yeah. She, yeah. She's yeah. just hanging out in a sweater and... Yeah. Pantyhose. She had and to get on set. Because, they had a skirt, but she was like, "I gotta go. I gotta go. It's starting." And then she has like crazy dancing style and like, 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 Oof. yeah, she's just like on fire. And, yeah, it's hot. And, like, those those movies are like, I, I mean, well, that movie anyway. I just, maybe it's not true of all. I, mean, I haven't seen Clam Bake, but um, I, I like. I mean, do yeah, the clam. Was, do the clam. It's interesting. Some of these movies, some of those movies are like garbage, but like how many other elements other than the things that make a movie garbage, if they're all slid up to 10, can the movie be good? Like I've always <laughs> had, had that affection for Xanadu because I'm like, like everything about Xanadu, like it seems determined to make this movie bad. Like it doesn't have all these fundamental things that a movie's supposed to have, but then it has all of these... Like it's just like all these other dials have been turned up to ten, uh, 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 and it's it's yeah. I like that's what uh, that's exactly what Viva Las Vegas is. You're like this is not a good movie, but I'm having a blast watching no, it's it. All the Viva Las Vegas reminds me a lot of Xanadu because there because and I I I wouldn't doubt that there was like a lot of influence there because there's the there's the montage that represents Anne Margaret and uh, Elvis falling in love. <laughs> And it's like a montage of like that involves teleportation, time travel. Like they're just like they're they're just like cowboys and yes. like they go, oh well, let's just, let's just spend the day together. Be and like all of a sudden they're like shooting each other in an old west town, and there's no explanation for it. And it's very much like in Xanadu when it's like they have a thin justification for it where it's like, oh, I'm getting to know you and like, let's roller skate through this place where records are made, um, which of course involves like all of the, you can hit a button and these things will come down and blow fog at you and then you'll turn into a cartoon bird. Uh, it just goes to show you, it doesn't fucking matter um, the kind of in and out of like, like we don't hold, well, wait a minute, why are they falling in love? Like, like, like movies that, movies that hold themselves to an internal logic only insult us by trying to make it about their playlists uh, on Spotify. They're like the nineties version of that, where they're like, you like the Pixies. I like the Pixies. And then it's like, Oh, so that's supposed to make me believe that you'd take a bullet for her. That's your version. And then, <laughs> but, but then before that, it was just like, Oh, well we're dancing, you know? And that's like, I don't know. We're not going to bother trying to show you logically why it is that you love this person. Um, we're going to actually just express the feelings that you have um, uh, when, when, when you love that person. And, um, uh, 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 really important garbage just stupid. what happened what, what was that the uh, thing dan I, 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 I mean this and with, with all fondness this is taking me back to meltdown comics <laughs> because there's that moment when like you would have already had a couple kettle ones before the show but then there's that threshold where you get into complete like uh downhill skiing mode where it, it's, a, it's my favorite part of the show 
here's a to here's a topic. This is this is the last topic that I wrote down. It doesn't mean that this is a thing, but um, uh, my <laughs> my beautiful niece. I think she's four. My niece to be whatever the niece of my fiance. Um, she's she's in this phase. She's been in it for a while. She loves dancing. She loves singing. She just performs. Sometimes she steals her mom's camera and she makes like little videos of herself. Sometimes mom is participating and mom's like filming the videos. We'll get the videos. Um, and uh, she'll be like dancing around. And then um, uh, she'll say at the end of it, like if things don't go in her mind perfectly because you know she's four so she's she's got some kind of job to do in her head and th i guess that's the thing that's fascinating to me is that at the it, like like she'll do like the, there'll be this video of her like jumping around the living room singing and dancing gibberish doing like this stuff that's just it's just joyful and then at the end of it she'll like go toward the camera <sighs> if her mom's holding it and be like, delete it. Like she, ha <laughs> she, she has this like impulse in her. That's like, and we, we, we were just puzzling over that. Where she was like, I, was like, I was like, why, wait, why delete it? Like, what did she think she did wrong there? She's four. Like, like, and <laughs> um, I'm just kind of, and, and I'm not like, I was thinking about it today and it was like, it, not being cynical about it. I think it's an uplifting thing because I don't think that that's congenital. I don't think that human beings are born with shame. I think that human beings are born with a, 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 a like a desire to get everything right. And, uh, and then we're like constantly monitoring the grownups around us for cues about, because one thing Cody pointed out and Cody's 12 years younger than me, but she and I both agreed like, delete it is not in your vocabulary like when we were kids um there's nothing to delete like god I, 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 you know uh god willing something that you could do would be forever whether it's your little handprint in cement or when vhs camcorders came out and it was just like we would watch three hours of ourselves like rolling around in the grass there was no input there was never back then it was not like erase that erase that and now there is for four-year-olds which i think is so interesting and not in a cynical way again i think they're picking up on this idea that like well they know that information is now there's a surplus of it and they're like no 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 delete that like they're curating she, it yeah, she's like, she's like, don't. But I, I was just trying to figure out what she meant. It's like, I think for her, it might have. It's like, like I think she might have gotten a reaction from her mom that maybe because she did like a little thing, you know, like four year olds will do. She like, she like put her sleeve off her shoulder at the end of her dance, and her mom had this reaction that was understandably, like, it was a gasp because it was like, yeah, what the fuck, um, what is that? And I think that she interpreted that reaction from her mom at, in the very moment was like, you touched a hot stove, you stood at the top of stairs, you didn't, it was, it was like, it was like, delete it, maybe? Because then there's another video that, that, like like where her older brother is like doing a performance and then the little sister comes in and interrupts it like she steals the spotlight and he goes delete it i understand that that's a tantrum that's orson wells he's going like i'm trying to make something perfect here and now you may as well throw it away uh, that that was like delete it he was saying delete it like you know i hate my sister like like, like i can't believe she came in and ruined my masterpiece that i and i was like oh i would get that if i was like you would you would wield delete it the same way you would say like okay i don't want a fire truck then or like you know like throwing it across the room but i like it, it just like i don't think that we need to get over our shame i think that we need to accept it and realize that we have it like and we're putting it into our children and like like, like she doesn't know what's right or wrong yet. She, but she already knows that there's such a thing as. Hey, why? Are, what's going on over here? What? He what finished you, you just, it. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not, almost done. Not you finished it's it, but you, half of it's in the toilet. It doesn't count. It's not. It's not astounding. <laughs> you gotta like, start over. Yeah. I kind of feel 
like there's like the developmental stage of a kid at that age kind of thinks, oh, everyone knows this routine I came up with. So they all realize that I fucked it up. Mm. Like everyone knows I fucked up this routine. Whereas to you, it looks like a random thing that she's like free right. but like so you think head, that she thought that other kids i guess i don't know her i don't know yeah i, I don't i don't have enough information about who she thinks is gonna see the video and all or even stuff. just like yeah everyone knows like everyone knows i messed up that one step so now we have to like do this again i have to delete it but really like nobody knows you're just flailing you're a child yeah. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> Part of me but thinks, I, I, though, that, like, I truly think that, like, the big, the, I think she's so young that I think that, um, and this is t- total speculation, but um, I think that the, the, the primary way of her enjoying those videos is that she watches them back with her mom. And, uh-huh. I, think, and I think she has an impulse embedded in her that's like, get rid of the bad one. I don't want to watch that one with you again. I don't want to witness it with you kind of thing, but that's just me simplifying something because from my view, her life is simple. Like you said, she could have a whole fucking, she's got a master plan. She's, the she's got a whole, she's got a whole civilization in her world. <laughs> like she's got best friends and yeah, I didn't thought about that. Honestly, like, I don't know if four year olds, like, do they, I know they don't have phones, but do they, do they do their videos get like circulated among their well, they probably oh god YouTube, that's such a right? scary thought that's that's a horrifying thought i don't like like, like it's like I'm, I'm friends with your mom and your mom texted this video of me uh-huh well, we get dancing. we get we get videos of like your friends like daughter singing and stuff we do get she, <laughs> yeah but she's like eight nine like she's a little bit older yeah well, now, but we've been getting them for years. For many years, that's right. That there was this great say. moment where, so can I can I talk about this? this yeah, is just don't use any lot, names. She was a lot younger. She's five years old and she's got like a, uh, she's got, it's, how would you? It's Benicio it's a, Del Toro, sorry. It's a <laughs> cousin, right? So it's two little girls, right? So they're both going <laughs> to improvise songs and they're making a video. And uh, the first girl sings and they're both five. Like we know these kids. And she's singing, she makes up a song. She's like, a leaf, a tree, a horse. And it's this beautiful song. And then it goes to the the other girl. And she's four years old. And she she gears up and she sings, I am going to kill myself. <laughs> and everybody and just, just loses it. Everybody in the room is like, no! Yeah, no! The audience, yeah, all the girls are like, no! <laughs> it's one of my favorite videos. I watch it maybe I've once a month. <laughs> so many times. Because when you watch it, it's the beautiful moment right before she sings where that hasn't happened to the adults in the room yet. Like, it will, I bet you see it. And happen. then the other so kid good. starts being like, I didn't tell her to say that. That was her song. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's insane to me that our perception of children is that we're waiting for them to let us know, like, what's going on in their heads. And sort of like we do perceive them as like receiving instruction from us, but not on the level that we really are instructing them and not understanding that the entire time the all they're doing is going, they're monitoring us and going like, I don't know, what do you want for dinner? Like it, it, it's like, and, and then they, they're like, we're all like, we're just going like, wait, where did you come up with that? Why did you just like come into the room and talk and say that like weird Frasery thing that where you're, it indicates that you're upset with us and you're being passive aggressive. Like you're sending all these social cues but all they're doing is like studying our eyebrows and our tone of voice. And they're just, they just have these like giant little spongy brains that are like, they're just throbbing and going like, am I a Spartan? Am I a Greek? Am I, am I an Eskimo? Like, like you tell me what culture I'm living in and what set of behaviors is going to impress you guys. And I'll fucking do it. And, and they're just like mashing at buttons. And then we react to them. We go like, Whoa, and then yeah. sometimes us reacting like to that triggers shame for them. Sometimes it makes them go, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. And sometimes it like hits their dopamine spike and they go like, Oh, I I'm going to be a DJ. Like I just <laughs> did this thing, right? Like I want to be a superstar. I want to blow minds. 
I, I feel like I can reach back in my memory and along those behavioral patterns and go like, I learned very quickly, like my parents' opinion of what I was doing meant jack shit compared to company. Like if people mm-hmm. are coming over, if I can get them to react in any way, my parents are going to f- be dragged along. Like, like whether they like it or not, they're going to be like Sony and the company is the Nielsen's. Like, it's just like, well, I don't get it. And we told them we don't get it in development, but God damn it. Now it's a hit. And, and like, I, re- I feel like I have emotional memories of that experience. And I think it's crazy that along with that comes like people are saying, delete it. A four-year-old going, delete it, delete that one. That one of me stumbling around like a goofball, something that when I'm 30, I would, I would just drink like nectar because I'll only have so much time and like, I'll see baby videos of myself and I'll be like, oh my God, you deleted any of them. But at four, she's like <laughs> going, no, burn it. Put it to send it to the incinerator. Cut, print that one. No, delete it. Like I, I won't have anyone see that one. That's not what happened. <laughs> but I don't even know if they have the same relationship with stuff being permanent. Like to me, like I didn't, I never even saw a camcorder till I was a teenager. So I didn't even like think about that being a possibility, but to grow up with the knowledge that like it could all just like exist forever or maybe not, maybe it doesn't even mean the same thing to them. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's that's what, that, well, that's what I'm kind of struggling with. Like, it does, yeah. you know, by delete it, does she mean um, before it ends up on Facebook and gets me canceled? Or does she mean um, uh, I don't want that to be part of Goodnight Moon? I, yeah. I, I, I don't I don't want that to be canon. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, that's right. I think it's the latter. I, th- that's I think that's what so. I, I, I think, think so it's so like too. for it's them. Fun. It's like. I think the kids these days hate getting canceled and they're just super aware <laughs> Yeah, four-year-olds hate cancel culture. <laughs> um, I want to, I want to, so, you know, in this pandemic, there's been, in the beginning, quarantine, I was very, very stressed out and things were, is it okay if I change the subject? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think we've, yeah. So, um, and so I'm like very grateful to the things that have like helped uh, us get through it. And one of them, Rob knows this, is, found crap that you made um, it brought us so much joy and i honestly thank you. We would watch we've been watching this all quarantine and it, i felt so much like genuine like gratitude watching this <laughs> it's just, like <laughs> so full of joy and fun so so i want to tell people if you can are they available anywhere rob no i've been doing them just live you know it's kind of like a one i'll do repeats every once in a while but i'll just be like Tune in on at 5.30, uh, TrabHomeVideo.com, and I'll show something. Callie's been opening the show with just playing music, and Spencer and Jeff have kind of interviewed her, and then we roll into clips like like what Harmon and I used to do at CineFamily uh, at, at the theater there. And then, and then we do an Unpack the Crap where we talk about the clips because people want to go, where's that clip from? And then we talk it's, about it like that. It's so good. People watch them whenever, whenever. I'm pretty much doing it just for you two. Yeah, we love it so much. (laughs) We're like whenever you, whenever I get get that text, I'm like so excited. Uh, Emily and Kumail, because I I don't watch a lot of stuff. I watch T. I watch TCM. I watch old movies mostly, uh, and I watch them the same movies a hundred times over. Uh, Give me something that I should be watching, something new that you think that I might, um, I might dig. Ooh, ooh, Ooh. that's. That's We've tough. watched so much stuff; it's a little overwhelming. Uh, something new, Emily. What did we watch? Yeah. It's, it's hard. Well, like, uh, well, think think about it because I I just bored the audience to pieces about my love of musicals. So if you guys have a TV no, or a or that was or very film, exciting to me. Also, doc, documentaries I love. If there's a documentary I haven't seen, uh, lay it on me. I feel like all the documentaries are now is like murder. It's probably <laughs> the so husband, bad. but maybe not. But it is always the husband. Yeah, uh, usually it's yes. all true crime docs now. I don't, I don't. I, that's I haven't seen any that are not true crime. I think the Michael I Jordan think. one was good, and I don't like that, sports. that was good. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, that you, was. Yeah, I don't think you. I, I don't think you have to like sports at all to like that documentary because it's just it's just about 
like, like just a bunch of crazy circumstances and characters. I just yeah, started I, I, the girl in the Dale. What's that? The lady in the veil. The, the lady, lady in the, the Dale, yeah. and it and it's fascinating. Have you made it all the way through that one? I have not. I've not watched that one yet, but I wanted I, to. I, I I just watched the first one. It's very interesting. I uh, I and what's the what premise for those our audience at home? Uh, it's best that you don't know what the premise is. It's it's uh, I'll I'll try to it's a it's a con man who is kind of like a catch me if you can kind of a person that just kind of goes down a row a, a road of just conning 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 and and gets like a moment in the sun in the seventies during like the gas crisis. And uh, is like delivering like a. This is a new car that's going to save the world. Oh. And then and then, uh, and then you find out a lot. Oh, it's just, so it's like a someone trying to sell an electric vehicle, and it seems like it's some sort of Elizabeth Holmes thing where they don't really have it. I don't know if it's an electric. It's definitely like that the Elizabeth Holmes thing, but it, I don't think it's an electric car. I think it's just it has. It's a car with three wheels, so they thought it would use less gas. <laughs> that makes sense. One less wheel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's where the gas goes. It goes yeah. into four wheels. It, goes into the, it keeps the wheels inflated. So I forgot about the stuff. Elizabeth Holmes thing. It was amazing that she was like, it's a box that tells you if you have anything. Um, <laughs> look, just make the box. And then it was like, and then people are like, the inside of the box is tricky because there's a. Uh, <laughs> We got it. This uh, it takes your blood, and then it takes it inside the box, and then <laughs> showing these then animations. I'm like, this is Keebler blood elves. everywhere. <laughs> the Keebler elves take it. They take it to the tree. The tree runs like, the test. Put a drop of blood here, and then a drop of blood. This is this is bloody box, and <laughs> just put um, blood. And spiders. Uh, I don't like that Netflix has created a new genre called this should have been a 90 minute movie documentary or not. And in any case is now a 10 episode series. I am offended. I am made to feel old. I don't like, frankly, I'm going to get canceled for saying it. Here's the thing about WandaVision. I know uh -oh. it's not Netflix. I'm saying I'm talking about streaming now, what Netflix has created. You wouldn't be able to have a pilot like that in the days when That's correct. I like like and I, I get it. It's like like I understand it's because like, oh, appointment viewing and all this stuff, but there was a craft to it. It just makes me feel so old. I'm like, you can't you can't just say that on episode three, things are going to start making sense. <laughs> That's well, not they're allowed. Leading, they're leaning but on you, the Marvel name. Like the Marvel name is like, trust us. Yeah, I don't like that either. I don't like that. I don't like watching a TV show th whose parent company is also <laughs> like, like they, they, they're, they're like, oh, here be, be confused something that would get dan Harmon fired in 2006 uh which is just like using a genre to tell a story but like you know fuck you if you want details go eat a dick we'll see you in episode two here's five minutes of credits episode two starts hey here's a little more fuck you sideways fuck you at an angle oh here you go with a episode three -do 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 -do. like we'll give you 45 seconds of oh maybe the hulk farted i don't know here's cat denning she'll explain it all now meeting with the goddess like this is a pilot it's a pilot called wandavision it's a good pilot but here's the problem you'd have to hot sell that shit in a half an hour and your second episode fucking wandavision have to be fighting corrupt lumberjacks and it'd have to be fucking good you see the they see the night stalker uh the nbc or not nbc the netflix thing you see yeah, that we did one? See that. Yeah, yeah. We did see that one. Kind of, kind of a bum, bummer. I mean, the whole thing was kind of like, okay, yeah. we're going to buy guns. Like all of them now, right? Oh, because you're scared. Well, for me, the but, weird thing was that the two cops that they follow don't do anything. They never catch the Night Stalker. We they did nothing. The shoe. They got the shoe, Greg Kumail. 
yeah, all they do is over and over get the same fucking shoe print, and the, <laughs> the document presents them as like the heroes. Like these are the two guys. They did nothing. There was another guy who got like in another town who got the bracelet, beat up a guy, and the guy was like, "This is who the Night Stalker is." Yeah, yeah. It was not like <laughs> yeah, detectiving. Yeah. They were just yeah. like, "Oh my god, look at that!" The shit. guy's like, like, "I'm eight. gonna beat the hell out of you." <laughs> yeah, some other person just beat up somebody and they told him who the Night Stalker was. There was no like detective work going on. Spoilers, yeah, he killed like spoilers. forty people yeah. in the same shoe, and these it, guys just like collected yeah. the shoe prints over and over. He killed forty people in the same shoe. <laughs> a rare like, shoe, a rare. That's shoe. our guy. That's the yeah. Guy. Like this two one, one terrible crimes. They're like serialization. In <laughs> serialization in television is like gravity. It exists. It will exist no matter what you do. Your job as a TV craftsperson is to fight it. I feel the same way about serialization and ki killers. If you want your television <laughs> story to stay aloft, it is by if fighting like serialization. Modularity. Episodicness. That's why it's not a movie. True, isn't it also true that now... When you're making a show for like NBC, it's got a, it's, it's, everybody's got that. But if you've bought the streaming service, you're already the, in the pocket for whatever they're putting on. So that's you, what I don't like is different. that these kids now are going like, here's my pitch for a show. In episode one, there's a zombie. And then you, and then it's like, whoa, what's with the zombie? But also he has a wedding ring. And then um, he takes a shit in the toilet's like, whoa, give me the wedding ring. And you're like, What's going on? I'll skip over episode two and tell you by the show, but here's what happens in episode three. Here's my point. The toilet makes rings that fight zombies. Oh, that's a pilot. I, I that's my point is that you can't like that's now how shows are being pitched. Like, like the market Ooh. has been inflated. People are like now pitching streaming services. They're going, I have a pitch for a show for you. And they pitch a 10 episode story where they include, and I, I'm not just f f farting out of my butthole here. That's I'm what, that's what streaming what services want though. I think I've, I've yeah. been developing well, this yeah, show. I know, Cause they keep buying yeah. this shit. Yeah, but, but but no, but they they actually went. Well, like, can you add some some serialized element? Like they wanted, like they wanted to see more more stuff. Yeah, and because they're like, they slow down. Watching. Whoa, what do you mean, Mork and Mindy? Slow down. <laughs> episode one is Mork, and then episode four. Yeah, Mindy no, 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 no. See, whoa, season one is Mindy. <laughs> Like, and there's an egg in the yard and it's like, what's with that egg? Like, that's the problem is that I like, like, like it's, it's like, there used to be this, like, for bad reasons, there was good things happening, which was like, we got to keep this audience. We have to assume the customer is always right. The customer in TV is an asshole who has no shits to give tuning in yeah at any moment in your sh half hour of derivative garbage and they could leave like at it. any second and you got to hook them. You got to hook them with fucking craft mamma jamma. And I think there's something, I can't shake like the goodness of that. When I watch these shows where I'm like, when I watch WandaVision, I go like this production design is amazing. There is genius happening here. I've seen a lot of people homage um, uh, the 50s era of television, this makeup and these sets and the cinematography, this is like great. And, but I'm like, God damn it. Um, oh, wait, you did you cringe, Rob? You disagree? You're like, No, no. Okay. Oh, you're cringing because you're like, I can't <laughs> believe he's going after WandaVision. Why? No, What's I awful? haven't seen, I don't, I, 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 I was just. I'm just yeah, saying, man. I'm bored a little. I, I'm sorry. Oh, you I'm, got, you got, got, <laughs> just a little bit bored. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I haven't the, seen the show. I mean, I wasn't old, going to watch it. But, uh, the old, but, but, but since, uh, since we're on the topic of like Disney Plus, like anybody going, doing the deep dive on uh, 
the cat from outer space or the shaggy da or any any of that shit like mm -hmm. kate didn't know any of that stuff i said oh we gotta watch the cat from outer space and i put it on and like two seconds in she's like going fuck this movie <laughs> this what about like do they have like computer war tennis shoes and all those things yeah they have that they have like uh escape the witch World. mountain that is a Promise weird man. time of 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 Disney where they were just like trying to figure it out. It's like they were like what, a bunch of premises. It was a lot of yeah. premises. Yeah, it's really strange. You see, like what you know, the cat, cat from, from space. Yeah, yeah. it's a cat from outer space. He's got a magic necklace that makes yeah. him move shit around, and his lips don't move when he talks. And Wasn't hey, there one that you was know? like a million dollar something, or the goose with the golden something like that? There was one like that. Yeah, I watched so, all those. Yeah, wasn't they're, Kurt they're, Russell in like fifteen of them? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Was, they had actors in the stable. It's like like Kurt Russell was like friends. Jodie with... Foster too. Uh, who else? There was another guy that was in like all those Disney movies, and like he and Kurt Russell were buddies because Frank was... Johnson, the, another famous guy, and, and it was like because they were just Disney property, and they would just be in these movies. I can't remember who the other. Well, that's was like the, when, uh, was when it, Carpenter was, was trying to duck? get. Yeah, that's what. That's yeah, one. it is a million dollar yeah. duck. That's exactly the one I was trying to think of. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just it's like, like the love bug and stuff. Combine them. Yeah. yeah. Car that talks. Here you go. Cat from space. Here you go. <laughs> Guy got really smart. Here you go. Yeah. Make a movie. Yeah. Camille, make a new I one. I like them all. Camille, make a new one. What's a new one right now? Go. Do it. Do it. Oh my God! A dog. He is a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> a dog. He's a serial killer. It's not, I mean, that's, that's, it's not Cujo because it's like the dog is, the dog has an MO, the yes, dog has a correct. signature, like yes. the dog is doing it for a reason. That's the dangerous it thing. Be, it would be it's interesting. To... Like we found urine all over this body. It's the third time with somebody yeah, yeah. peed all over this guy. And, and I, th I, I, I think it's called uh, the best friend of Sam. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what if you did like one in that style Spot with that music Ripper. and like the same like voice casting and stuff like that and the the dog is walking around it's like wow what about her <laughs> what about her that's my type yeah do you guys Nobody think dogs looks. understand the length of the walk because I feel like sometimes <laughs> Cody and I are like I got too much going on. Yeah, me too. And like, we'll take them on our, what we call the short walk, or which is we take you're them down. Tricking them, you're tricking them into thinking that they've done the full walk when they have I it. truly don't think that they, their behavior to me seems like they, if they don't get the walk, they start going out of their goddamn minds, but then it doesn't matter. I think it's a human thing that it'd be like, that walk was hardly anything like the oh. ritual of harnessing them up and taking them out. Like, mm -hmm. like I take them down to a cul-de-sac and we bring them back up cul-de-sac. What am I fucking uh, <laughs> Oliver yeah. twist? Um, I'm going to let it go. Uh, uh, the, 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 but, uh, or we'll take them around the block, 85,000 blocks. Like they act the same when we bring them back. They're never That's like their television. That's their TV. Yeah, but they, they don't. They don't, if they get if they get two minutes of Knight Rider as opposed to twenty two minutes to they act as if they've seen a whole episode of Knight Rider. That's my are they opinion. pissed where they're like this walk didn't have the full story. I don't want to go right. on the third walk. It feels like they just like really sniff know. shit, and I'm like 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 I'll sometimes I'll let them sniff shit until they're done. I always do. Cody's like she'll she's not above like come on. And I'm like, how? Whoa! And, but like, they'll sniff shit. And then they, like, you take them around. They're just sniffing shit. They're barking at other dogs. Then they get back home, and they're like, "Thank you." Like before that, they're like, you would you'd think that you were killing them by not taking them for a walk. They're like, "You go for a walk? You haven't come in for a walk yet." And then like you, but you could take them for like a two second walk, and then they're like. They're like the bind. It's a bind. Finally, uh, uh, I'm exhausted. Like they don't. It, it's like they have like a circadian rhythm or whatever you call it. Like they they understand days, but they don't understand hours. I think but it's this, similar. But this sounds to... like Dan. The, the... Go ahead, Emily. 
I think it's similar to like ladies like me, for instance, going out sometimes where like getting ready to go out is like the most fun part of the night. And then you get there and you're like, this sucks. Why am I here? And then you're like, I can just leave now. So the putting on of the harness, the yeah. get, like the like anticipation, that's the money shot. The rest of it is like kind of useless. Maybe. That makes sense. I mean, that, 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 that makes me able to relate to it, too. I think yeah. I felt that way, too, about going out where I'm like, I don't need to be out for six hours just because I haven't been out for six months. I do need to have gone out. It's like a punctuation. I like, need to have gone out. That's that's yeah. what it is. I need yeah, to Emily the- always says she's like the best part is having said that you went to the party. Yeah, oh, it's like so it's like the, the typewriter going Fring! like at the end yeah. of a like, otherwise you're just like typing forever and it would the dog. The dog is perceiving that the typewriter cylinder is going out the door. There, I made it understandable with my <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> with my keen understanding of old timey typewriters and dogs, I have, I have, as a love the situation, combined. everyone gets it now. <laughs> mm. Dan, have you still been playing Death Stranding? Or have you stopped? Have you given up? I stopped. Death Stranding drove me back into woodwork. Um, <laughs> or, it, it, was it the problem know. that it was just the, that the game is walking and trying to balance and it's like that's the game? I'm not sure. There's a Here's an alternate theory. I was I, w- I had peaked with Satisfactory and like whatever game I played next was going to be like just whatever. Okay. Wait, what's Satisfactory? Great. It's oh like Minecraft, God. but you just make machines and factories. Oh it's really God. great. Oh. It's the best. It's really good. Satisfactory. You make like a, okay. a, mi- a mining machine that pulls iron oh. out of the ground, then you process it. I went to Satisfactory. That's yeah. the play on words. The name, yeah. I, you know, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But um, it, it's it's so great. Yeah. It's just like, We're, that's... Yeah. We're I love making Hitman. factories. The new Hitman is really and fun. And we're doing Lego. Oh, yeah. We're putting Lego stuff together. Yeah, we made That's a Nectar fun. one, and now we're making a Batwing from the 1989 Tim Burton Batman. Yeah. I've been streaming. I, I stream on Twitch, you guys, and I'm plugging that. Twitch.tv slash The Sixler. But I've been playing Minecraft again. I don't know if you've played vanilla Minecraft in forever, Dan, but like they made a nether update where like the nether's got all this crazy shit in it now, and they just mm. made a cliffs and caves update. So there's these massive underground uh, cave complexes that are submerged. It's like, it's crazy how different it is from like, really? you know, yeah, I mean, there's Did not, they add you know, anything like, like, would they just add to vanilla Minecraft, just add like a little bit of hopper functionality where you could like yeah, sort things they still yeah. don't have that they have a lot more but yeah it's hope, it's a you really just it. want some I items sorting. Soon. uh well that's no you should plug away people should be watching <laughs> you on on twitch i also <laughs> i've also wrote a DD module as everyone knows i have a dungeon master um but i wrote another DD module uh it's called the jungle of wayward wilds it's uh at twit or it's at the sixler.itch.io and it's like uh it's kind of based on the lost woods from zelda if anyone likes zelda it's like it's a, i think it's really cool i've run it a bunch of times it's a lot of fun but you could get that so <laughs> I, you know, the plugging wasn't my idea for coming on this show, but you know, come on, come on, you guys. Whatever yeah, works. come on. Yeah, yeah, people, should, on. You're, you're, people should get something out of this for God's yeah. sake. You're up to let's, good let, shit. Let's, 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 let's do a plug fest. Rob, uh, besides a uh, uh, plug, Shrab home video again, and, and anything else you got going? No, oh, I didn't mean to well, end the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, like, saying, I got Shrab home while, video. While we're talking that... about it. I got Shrab home video. Emily? Go ahead, Rob. TrabHomeVideo.com. Like every Sunday, I try to do something. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook to find out when and where. I like promoting weird stuff. Check it out. (laughs) Also, got a lot of uh, t shirts on sale. We bought three of them. They're fantastic. Pretty good. Get that tri blend. I gotta tell you, that's a good quality shirt. The uh, actual material. Oh, it's really? Good. It's not. It's not that hard. Yeah, it's not like oh. that weird thick. It's like a good quality shirt. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Kumail and Emily, you got anything to plug? Uh, I'm gonna plug washing your hands. 
wearing a, wearing a mask. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, dot, I, I, dot, I, dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. What do you uh, do my, from you ruining your hands? Like my my skin's falling off. Like I'm washing yeah. it so much. You got issues. You got to moisturize, Jack. You Get some moisturize. I, moisturizer I do, next but, to the soap. But then I then then I I'm just washing my hands again. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Emily, what do you plug? I'll I mean, plug, that was uh, it, the, basically. Yeah. I'll plug the Nanjiani Max. That's the vaccine I got. Uh, <laughs> it works really, really well. It's a good um, vaccine. I, it's, it's, a, it's a really good vaccine. I think it's undersold. Check it out, New York Times. Give, give us a good review. It's, it's kid cool. tested and mother approved, as that's I understand right. it. I, that, that's I wrote a jingle yeah. for it. But it's made for a woman. Uh oh, Dan wrote a jingle. Nanjiani Max gives you heart attacks no. if you <laughs> take too much. If you take too much, which you shouldn't. This tempo and it's not conducive to freestyling. I don't know what that was. Just random <laughs> chords playing. So I. But yeah, the, the the jingle like the vaccine is. 70 percent effective it's we're it's we're working on it and it's um we're excited about it definitely don't take too much yeah <laughs> yes and, the, and and only only old people get it yeah it's uh, right now we're only doing 65 plus but for, for the for the rest of the anyone year anyone named amber if your name is amber you can get a vaccine <laughs> ambers and plus 65 that's it yeah yeah we're going <laughs> alphabetically <laughs> Right. And numerically at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> but they're crisscrossing. So yeah. oldest yeah. people and Amber's first, and then it's going to end up with youngest newborn people with Name's whose Dad. last name begins with X. Yeah, are going to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be yeah. as good as dead. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that Y and Z. You get left out. So any, yeah. uh, you're not in the any Yolandas or is, yeah. Or, Zabrinas, I don't know what his name is. Or maybe yeah. uh, hey, do you guys know that Spencer and I have a podcast that's going to come out very soon? Maybe, maybe even in a day or two. It's called That Happens. We got a That Happens uh, happening, and uh, yeah. if you go to That Happens Pod, right, Spencer? Oh yeah, That Happens Pod on all the things: Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> even a dot com, and coming soon, Reddit and Discord. Maybe I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Who we got a jingle for that too. Me? Here's the yeah, jingle please. for that. I want that. Uh, damn, lay it on me. This is the prelude. <laughs> that happens. And by that, I mean fun. That happens. Entertainment's on the run since pandemics. Everyone has nothing to do. So what happens? Come join me and you. My name is Spencer. I'm here to say I like to roll some dice today. I might as well do it with Jeff. Hip, ha, hip, hip. The uh, the problem I have, the problem I have with that jingle is the stretching of the idea of laughing into something that rhymes with Jeff. I uh, I, I thought that was cheap. Yeah, the, the the problem with Jeff is that you get there's deaf, there's a chef, yeah. and there's treble mm -hmm. clef. Well, maybe you should write a jingle while you do a podcast with Spencer. Okay. What's uh, your podcast I'm, about? Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess you're going to have to go find out, Kamel Nanjiani. Oh, you're going to have to come check it out. It's just about nothing. It's not about anything. It's deeper. Okay. Wow. We, we, uh, Spencer and I have already uh, done two episodes. We haven't dropped them yet. We're about to. And we have generated a new D&D &D character for me. Where is it a spoiler if I announce, announce what my character is? Oh, go ahead, Jeff. No, I'm going to save it. It's going to be good. Okay. I'm basically okay. a cat swashbuckler. I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a tabaxi swashbuckler. So basically, I, I'm, a, I'm puss in boots, but I'm going to be fucking awesome. It's like if, if, if Bone Weevil was a cat and uh, knew how to work on a boat. So, yeah, there you are. It's going to be I good stuff. In. Really. That happens we get on dot com. It sounds like that a happens. front. Like I think it's like money laundering. <laughs> like it's not a real yeah. practice. Like, it's yeah, it's me. I play D and D. 
It's like when you go into an Armenian like uh, alterations mm-hmm. place, and they're like, "Oh, we do alterations," and you're like, "You don't." <laughs> yeah, there's a restaurant by us that we're like, uh, the food is not good enough for <laughs> the massive space you have here. <laughs> The cash only fifty seven dollars for a salad. Here's a, whoa, whoa, really? You're staying here, huh? Okay. One time we went and there were four tables and we were like, "Can we sit?" They're like, "The food's gonna take two hours." We were like, "What?" They're like, "I mean, we're really busy, so it's gonna be a long time before we. You can order it now. It's a front. We will, we will call that bluff. We're, we're gonna sit here. We're waiting for our food. All right. Well." We were like, we just want omelets. It takes no time at all. You know? <laughs> we just want yeah, the, the, omelets. I, I called up a TV repairman that, that is in my neighborhood that's right near a place where I hang out. And uh, I never saw anybody ever go in or out of the TV repair shop. But I my TV was on the fritz years ago. And I called them up. I'm like, hey, I, I got this TV. And it's, I think the light bulb has gone out. That's how old it was. The TV had a light bulb, everybody. <laughs> and... Uh, the guy's like, uh, yeah, okay, let me call you back. And he called me back. He's like, yeah, that's going to be like $3,000. I called somebody else. I'm like, yeah, it's like $100. So that's a front. They're saying, yeah. uh, you can come in there. We can, we will find you a light bulb for your TV. But it's going to cost you a lot of money to, to take time out of our busy uh, money laundering Whatever. and he- <laughs> heroin dealing, you know, Is that enterprise. the one across from the drawing room? That's behind I wasn't going to say so, Emily, but yes, it is. That one, yeah. I, 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 because they, they kept expanding and they kept making it look more like a home. But yeah. if you walked in there, which you can't because the doors never open, but you look in the, yes, they do have three or four TVs and it looks like maybe somebody in there is slightly interested in the TV repair trade. However, call them on the phone and ask them uh, for a quote. And I think they really want you to go fuck off and then ask where they're, you know, they want to go look for their hair, heroin shipment or something. I feel it's like really that whole crazy. strip mall across from the drawing room, including ye old rustic, like yeah, that entire strip mall is just like, like Ben Affleck's character in the accountant, like is just like keeping the whole thing going. It's like, oh, there's like a Apple repair store that never yes. has any, any cables. And then there's like a realty place that, and then there's a you know. there's like an art also there's like an art studio that sells clothes on occasion i don't it doesn't make any sense the, the, well n- now those are all gone all that remains is these the strange uh like real estate like sotheby's or what, whatever the hell yes i guess yeah, right. right you've never seen anybody go in or out of that building that is certainly <laughs> a brothel i guarantee you it is a it is a it is a QAnon. So people uh, walk in and they go like, "I'm looking for a flat two level ranch <laughs> with we <all> uh, are. <laughs> maybe a maybe the yes. backyard's oh. a little very, very good, sir. Right this way, very good. Sir. <laughs> brothel bees? Is brothel bees anything? Brothel bees. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I think we I think we have an episode title. I think we finally got our episode title. Brothel bees. Brothel bees. Brothel bees. Well, my name is... Okay. Okay. All right. right. I I, I think on Emily's slam dunk, I think we can call it a night. Thank you so much, Emily and Kumail, for joining us. Thank you for having us. That was so so lovely to see your faces. And um, hopefully we'll all hang hang out in person very soon and uh, take take the vaccines, people. Yeah. Yes. Get get that... uh, uh, What's it called? Nanjiani Max? Yeah, That's the Nanjiani gonna... Max. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it still is not hasn't covered been... by. It has not been approved by the FDA. It <laughs> is not covered by insurance. Okay, it's expensive. Right. Yeah, yes. but it's great. I think the Nanjiani Max uh, sl- uh, slogan and, and creed is uh, the FDA approval is for assholes because <laughs> like, I, I, it, on, on the bottle of Nanjiani Max on the vial that you get it says, "Let's roll the dice." <laughs> Actually, it says garlic, lucky? garlic flavored because you can it get just a garlic. Says garlic. Also. If you peel back the label, it says garlic. <laughs> Don't take too much. All right, well, let, let's say goodbye to Kamel and uh, and Emily. Thank you so thank much. You. Uh, Bye. Bye. We love you. What a joy! 
Also, Rob Schraub, we love you and adore you. Go check out uh, Schraub Home Video because it's always a groove and a gas and uh, you will dig it. Uh, Spencer Crittenden, uh, check out our new podcast, That Happens. You can find us at thathappens.com or thathappenspod, whatever the hell. I have a Patreon about storytelling. You can find me on Patreon. Dan, uh, what are you plugging? What are you working on right now? Nothing. Don't, don't patronize me. Don't subscribe to me. Don't cancel me. Don't. Don't monitor me. Leave me alone. Get out of my life. Get out of my face. Get off my radar. Uh, put me off your grid. Cliffhanger! <laughs> Good night, everybody. We did it, Dan. See you later. See you soon. Stop. Did you get any of that? It's a good show! Scarpins Avenue.